<laughs> oh. Welcome to a very 80s themed, no it's not, it's just the cool music that we got sent. Welcome cool to music. High Rollers, the weekly Dungeons and Dragons show here on twitch.tv forward slash jogscast and twitch.tv forward slash High Rollers d and I am your Dungeon Master, Mark Sherlock Humes, with the proper hair colour I was after the whole time. Yeah! yeah. Finally achieved. Yeah, uh, welcome That's to today's bourbon. episode, episode 61, Wait. High Rollers. Not level 61, which I have, uh, <laughs> I have level 61. <laughs> tentatively named Hot Under the Collar. Oh. Oh. oh! Joining me, we have... Rhiannon, Chris Trot, Hello. And Kim. Hello. As well as... Tommy Hazel and Katie Morrison, uh, our usual cast of players. If you are new, this is our usual our usual gang. Welcome, yeah. welcome. Thanks for yeah. joining us. Hi, low. Um, hi, low. Hello, everyone. Little hi, little low. So hi, before we get hi, into low. announcements hello, and stuff like that today, oh, okay. um, there's just a couple of things we need to talk about. The first being our two sponsors for Woo! today's episode. Um, yeah. D and D Beyond, our returning sponsor, who has supported us all the way through campaign two out of Aroes. As well as NordVPN, who we've had a lot of fun with. NordVPN. Um, Chris Trot, tell us about our sponsors. Yeah, boy, we're celebrating not one birthday today. Rhiannon's. Rhiannon's. But two. Yeah. NordVPNs. It's not a competition. <laughs> but both Rhi and NordVPN are completely deserving of birthday celebration today. I will say, however, that NordVPN turns eight years old. And they've given us a deal to give you all... Ooh. A special gift. Oh. <laughs> a gift, you say? Reed, for gift. your birthday, Hi. have you given everyone in the audience a gift like NordVPN has? <sighs> the gift of it's her okay. beautiful face. Round Don't of worry. applause for everybody! <laughs> Don't worry, the audience still has NordVPN. NordVPN yeah. is a virtual private network allowing you to safely and securely browse the web. Re, how Hi. can people utilize you to browse the internet securely and safely? I'll watch them. <laughs> All of them. All of them. NordVPN uh, prevents geo-restricted content. For example, a TV series that's only available in a certain country can become available to you. Re, do you unlock geo-restricted content? Um, you're making this quite a quite a mean spirit. It's a content. birthday thing. <laughs> it's a birthday I've thing. Got a so comparison. I've, I've got a passport. I can just go places. It's okay, they got no. Well, not, not for long, you can't. <laughs> not for long. <laughs> <laughs> NordVPN, Sometimes. unlike other VPNs, right. don't throttle their downloads really? and they provide unlimited bandwidth. Re, can everyone in the audience use your phone and your home internet to download anything they want with unlimited bandwidth, please? There you give go. it to them. Give, have a try. It's okay, <laughs> we can't all be NordVPN. If but you head to nordvpn.com slash HRDND <laughs> now and check out the deal, with a three-year plan, you'll get a bonus amount on top. It could be a month, it could be a year, it could be two years, or even three years. Wait, wow. it's literally like a random... It's a gift. Oh, wow. So it's like you're rolling the dice on this. <laughs> yeah. oh. You're guaranteed at least a month free, but it could be up to three years. <laughs> Tell us if okay. you do this. Tell us if you rolled a nat 1 or a nat 20 on that scale of a month to three years. I'm not oh, really yeah, I want to know if someone got a three year. Yeah. That's so double for nothing. NordVPN.com slash HRDND. It's on screen it's on all screen. the time today. So also, she's got a nat one, everybody. Yeah. He just, she just got a nat one. She's got a nat one, everybody. And maybe, you know, Re deserves it for That's her nice. birthday. She deserves a six year, a Nord six year NordVPN. Oh, yeah. Thanks, NordVPN. <laughs> <laughs> And secondly, obviously, we got D and D Beyond. They revolutionised the way high rollers play D and D. We're faster. We're more informed. We're more oh. efficient. The thing is, we're still a hot pile of garbage. <laughs> <laughs> but thankfully, D and D Beyond doesn't just offer the D and D best D and D Fifth Edition toolset to create and manage your characters and campaigns. It also offers in-depth advice to players new and old. So here's some hot tips from D and D Beyond's new players guide for us that I thought would be useful. Mm. Jesse, Dungeon Master. I don't need any advice. No, you do. Mm. <laughs> laying, out, laying out ground rules to ensure your players' good behavior may seem awkward, especially if your players are longtime friends of Where yours. Are but it's always mm. better to be a little awkward now than to suffer the consequences later. Mm. I interpret that in this example. It's okay to Tom, tell Tom Hazel that his brown nosing isn't cool. <laughs> Nor is it fun. What? When the players are seconds away from dealing an injury check for real to him, it's time to lay down the rules. Okay. What? Okay? Right. I mean... This is from D&D &D Beyond, okay? It's, 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 Tom, you can't, you can't be mad at them. They yeah, literally... Okay. They're, 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 they're literally written, written this right. Yeah, no, I'm yeah. fine. I'm fine There's with a it. lot of other great DM tips right. in this article, but I'm Wait, skipping... Wait, no player tips in there? 
Uh, that, yeah, I'll come okay, to get that. to the Yeah, I don't uh, want to hear any more DM. But there's this one. Being DM, DM doesn't mean being group leader for the entire group and organizing the lives oh, of the players. Uh, yeah, sure, sure it doesn't, yeah. <laughs> but this one's a good one. Perhaps most importantly, the entire group should work together to bring snacks either by pooling money or potlucking it. And I don't know what potlucking means, because that's an American thing. We have donuts. <laughs> right, I assume it means everyone brings a pot. Yeah, everyone brings a dish. Yeah. There you go. It's a Chinese uh, thing as well. What have I got? There you go. Cool. There you go. Um, we've I got this. Potlucks I got apple before. juice. Yes. I, I got yeah. a pep. <laughs> I brought haggis once. Good behavior, yeah. Tom. You hated me. Remember to enforce <laughs> it. You did. Everyone else did For not. For the players. Oh. I brought oh. donuts. They've got these following Drinks. tips. All right, Being nice. an excellent D&D player means having as much fun as possible while still giving your fellow players and your DM time to shine. Yes. It's very Staying present and not checking out the moment your turn ends is hard. Of course, I've never done it. But it's likely that everyone else bar me has done it. Sure, except yeah. me. no, definitely. Mm, yeah. You've it's never easy done it to get all. sucked into your iPad <laughs> when it's not your turn in D and D, which I don't do. But I'm guessing you guys do. Um, something interesting comes up in Twitch chat that everyone else but me reads, and you get a text. Maybe I don't. I don't. Uh, but maybe a role playing scene has stressed you out, and you need to disconnect for a few minutes. Or whatever. Or you're paralyzed because you're in complete awe of the guy to your left that's just done an amazing role play. And how can you possibly compete with that? It's fine. Don't worry about it. That's me. It's totally okay. It's all of us. <laughs> I'm to everyone's left. Let yourself be entertained. <laughs> so mad. Let yourself be entertained by everyone else, especially okay. me. No, that's During the game, listen to me, him, us. Everyone. Listen everyone. to mostly me. Together. And give the same energy back to me because I'm. We should all share uh -huh. my mo your moments, Everyone's moments together. Everyone. For a while, I thought he was just straight reading the article, and then I suddenly got what he was doing. There's something else um, in the end of the article that's got something about taking time to learn the rules, but I didn't have time for that. So yeah. check the rest out for yourself on D&D <laughs> Beyond when you're making your free character using the base rules. Yeah. It's, it's really actually easy and intuitive. It's super easy. And, and yeah, like James and, and a lot of the guys who write the articles, they're really good. There's a lot of stuff for good, good stuff for DMs. They're Encounters of the Week, which they've been going through yeah, the Explorer's yeah. Guide to Wild Mountain, which has been pretty cool. I've been checking those out. They are um, fantastic. Fantastic. Uh, perfect. Well, uh, we've already mentioned, thank you, Chris Trot, for telling us about our great sponsors today. Yeah, cheers. Uh, a couple of other quick things. Obviously, it is Rhiannon's birthday, so happy hey! birthday to the last of the February babies. Now uh, it's waiting until now November. It's a long wait. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a um, so, happy birthday. A couple of uh, dice sales. So, our metal dice, which we have. <laughs> happy birthday. Dice. Dice. <laughs> metal dice, they come in a vegan leather pouch. Um, they are like a brassy copper in colour. They're currently on sale. They're $16.99 British pounds. What? Don't ask me how much that is in dollars. Only one week remaining, these dice are $16.99. So, if you ever wanted to pick up a gift for someone, a nice treat to yourself, now is the time. To I'm more interested up. by this bag. That is the a nicest bag, bag I've bag. ever seen. Sixteen nice. pounds ninety nine cents Pence. for Pence. metal dice. Yeah, Mass. are you insane? Mark? In that I'm, bag, yeah, I'm crazy. I just, I can't oh, give away all Mark. these dice. Oh boy, look at me selling <laughs> dice like crazy. Put them in a leather bag. Put them, a vegan, 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 vegan leather, leather bag. bag. Not leather. even real. There's five vegans Real in that fake bag. bags. <laughs> <laughs> really hope not. It took um, five to make that. Not only are these on sale, there are other items in our store that are currently on sale. They have some money off, so you can also use the code High Rollers on Fresh Merch, and you get some extra money yeah, off. off too. Yep. Uh, so that we can bring you other fun things. Com. Yes. So that we can bring you some other fun merchandise, which we've got in the works. Perfect. Yeah. You can also um, buy this. It's cool. It's very cool. There's a lot of them cool stuff. Currently on sale. Just another like, random, real quick list of things. Don't forget we have Chaos Twins, which is our gaming stream with Tom and Rhiannon, which is very insane. Uh, that's on Tuesdays. Tuesdays. At at yeah. 8 p.m. 8 till late. 8 till late. 8 till late. 8 till yeah. late on High Rollers D and D Twitch. You can check that out there. Um, thank you very much, anybody who subs up. If you use Amazon Prime or Twitch Prime, you can get cool High Rollers emotes over on the High Rollers Twitch channel yeah. or Yogscast emotes on the Yogscast channel. Um, We've also got next week myself and Kim will be on the Yogscast channel with a sponsor stream with a project which I think has been announced. Uh, let's just not risk no. that. No, all right. <laughs> Don't risk let's it just because this it. might also get me in trouble. Okay, no. well, keep <laughs> your eyes peeled next week for me and Kim doing a cool thing. So check that out. Um, apart from that, uh, keep sending your fan art to 
High roll is D&D at gmail.com. <laughs> High roll is D&D at gmail.com. Thank you, Rhiannon. So what? Um, as well as your cool fan music and yeah. cosplays. Um, yeah. It's been really appreciated. It's been good. And with that, we will finally kick off dun, dun, with dun, our dun, dun. intro video. Take it away, Sid. I will stand Done, done. Time to scream. One oh, and just make it straight up, you fucking dick. I'll eat half. No, 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 it's fine. Uh, right, <laughs> after that, did we cut back a lot sooner than I was expecting while we were Everyone's having donut donuts conversations? Now. It's a very in depth conversation about donuts. Donuts. Mmm. Donuts. For donuts. God's sake. <laughs> <clears throat> Welcome back to High Rollers, uh, the Eroist campaign. A little recap. For those of you at home who are just joining us or haven't been able to watch live for the last couple of weeks, over the last several weeks, the party have been looking to help Sentry, our guardian paladin, as she faces her last few months of life and the magic that keeps her sentience begins to fade. Called by a mysterious power, ever since you began your journey, you have been seeking the prime. A guardian being that is connected to the lifespan and may hold the key to keeping Sentry alive. You first travelled to the ruins of Kamina City, known as the City of Glass, the site of a terrible magic weapon used in the war between Erois and Callus Starbane. Here you found that hundreds of guardians had been called by a figure called Herald, a guardian whose duty it was to await the Prime's successor and led them, all of these guardians, to it in the City of Glass. Herald, in a desperate bid to keep herself alive, had begun feeding off the magical energy of these guardians, turning them into feral monstrosities under her control. This process has caused her to become corrupted by the being known as Hadar, the Crimson Star. However, the party, along with some unlikely allies, managed to defeat Herald, with the help of Lucius and Sentry, restored her memories and the last vestiges of good that had been locked away in her companion Echo. Herald was committed to ending her own life in guilt of what she had done, but Sentry convinced her otherwise and to help her instead. With Herald leading the way, the party have arrived at the edge of the Hawk's Dawn Archipelago, a series of volcanic islands near the continent of Voxar. Deep below the waves, at the base of an ancient volcano, the party have found an entrance into a magical research base for the long-lost exalted domain of Solvin, the place where the Guardians were created and where the Prime still remains. Heading inside, the party have found the crumbling, hot, lava-filled facility has no power and that the foundry that they must pass through is locked by magical wards. And that is where we begin today's episode. Cool. I believe that we had left off with you all in the um, some sort of steam generator. You had you had basically worked out that the facility was powered by a great steam engine that was uh, controlled by channeling lava and then cooling water from the ocean into a generator. Several of these pipes seem to have broken and the generator is no longer working, but thanks to a cold spell from Lucius, you managed to realize that this was the general process used to, to generate power. Short-lived um, with just the one bit of spell magic used, but enough to open a door, uh, which seems to lead into some sort of office, um, um, but also to give you a clue as to how you can perhaps open the main doors um, once you figure a few other things out. There was also um, two sort of uh, stones or orbs that were used to open the large metallic doors back in the main room um, that you, I think you had worked out needed some sort of key for. Mm. 
The other, the last thing is that it is incredibly hot. You are basically near or in the sort of uh, region of this these lava pockets that you know form in the base in the kind of core of the volcano, um, and much of the facility is broken down to the point where lava has pooled in or flowed in from cracks um, or or you know. Uh, parts of the facility that have been damaged. Um, the generator room is incredibly hot, um, and if you continue remaining here over time, you're going to need to potentially make some checks to try and avoid that um, becoming exhausted, to, to avoid becoming exhausted. Okay. Um, as the, you, you, the air is oppressively hot. Even just the few sort of 20, 20 25 minutes you've been in here, those of you who can sweat are sweating deeply. Um, those of you who are wearing armor especially, the armor itself is like baking hot. The metal is beginning to kind of almost sting a little at how hot it's becoming. Um, any kind of like loose parchments or any kind of material that's left out on your person is, is drying and, and kind of becoming brittle quite quickly. It is oppressively hot. It hurts to breathe. It's got that so hot when you suck air in, it kind of hurts your throat um, vibe to it. It is... I cannot understate how bad it is. How bad? It's pretty cool. bad. It sounds dreamy to me. Okay. Me, the player, <laughs> not me, Nova. Me. Uh, and yeah, and I believe that you'd left you all currently on this like gangway, this like metallic gangway surrounding the steam generator um, in this ancient Magitech facility of Solvin. What would you like to do? So where were we with this this generator puzzle? Thing. So we need to fix the pipes. Yeah, um, they're outside. Which were outside. Oh yeah, okay. Um, Unclog it. Yeah. So yeah. Well, you've, well yeah. you realize. Well, it was. It, it, you can fix the pipes, which will provide a constant stream of water, which will cool the magma and generate steam. And you realize yeah. that like any kind of cooling process yeah. will generate steam that provides whatever power is in this facility. Right. Okay. Um, the other option is if someone like could, could constantly cool it, but then that would you know we'd need. That suck. Yeah. 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 Uh, okay. So, you also have Herald with you. Um, her broken form. She still has only one set of wings. The others haven't been melted off, um, and is just very silently and quietly following behind Sentry. Um, she doesn't seem to have a lot of memories of this place. It was quite a long time ago she was here. But if you do have any questions, you can always try and ask her as you need to. Hmm. Okay. So, what is the plan? Um. So, so, how do we get outside again to unblock the pipes, if that's what we're doing? I think we need someone to push open the door, but it's really heavy, so I think we need someone to... The door. Come on, Nova, let's do this. <laughs> okay. Team Strong Arms! Let's uh, watch Ayla and Sentry do it. <laughs> we can do it. We can do it. Yeah, I can help. Yeah. I mean, I, are you definitely able to get back in? Sentry and... Uh, well, I can go and unblock the pipes anyway. There's two people here that can open the door. Okay. One of them is Sentry. Harold's there. And the other one is Harold. Okay. Well, as long as as long as you both come back, then sure, flex, unblock. Is it worth flex, us all flex, going? Flex, flex, flex. Together. What in case something happens yes, in here? Yes, you do know what's back on the outside. I, I feel like some of us should stay here just to check that everything works and doesn't... Or, I don't know. Well, how are you feeling? Are you do you need uh, to come out and cool down a bit, or are you? Uh, I I could be okay. Is mm, I'm fine. Okay. okay. For now. In that case, if Nova wants to check everything's safe and not blowy uppy, and then other people go outside and unblock, right, 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 right. How right, long did it right, take right. us to get I don't think we should leave. from outside? Probably about sort of an hour or so, because it's you had to come down a pretty long passageway and stairway um, that leads into this part yeah. of the facility. A lot of this facility, you can tell there's more to it, but it's all buried under collapsed rock or stone or lava has like just completely, you know, dismantled it. You're kind of fortunate that enough of it has remained that you can reach the parts you need to, but a lot of it's just buried under, you know, rock and rubble and lava. Okay. I don't think Nova should be left on her own. Uh, Maybe I can stay with Nova. I mean, that look at me. As long as as long as it gets unblocked, I don't think it really matters. If anything, I can I can dimension door us closer to you guys. Yes, sure. Okay. okay. In that case, everyone else outside and help unblock. Okay. Okay, let's do it. All right. So um, Quill, 
Sentry, Ayla, and Herald are going to go and try and unblock these pipes that you saw on the outside of the facility, on the volcano, underwater, basically. Deep yeah. Underwater. Um, your water breathing lasts eight hours, doesn't it? Uh, 20, 24. 24 hours. Or Perfect. Not even a... No need to worry hours. about that. But then. these guys aren't going outside, maybe. Just... Just you two. Okay. And I don't need to breathe underwater. Yeah. So. Fine. Neither the sentry. 24 hours. Perfect. So you guys begin making your way back, leaving Lucius and Nova in this generator room. Um, Lucius, you're probably going to have a better time of it than Nova does because you currently don't have armor on. I don't think you have like any clothes on. You're I literally think I tried to put on armor of Agathis to cool yourself down a bit. A little bit. Um, and it does. It definitely helps. Um, one of the bigger factors is also going to be dehydration, obviously. Like, you know, it's not just cooling down. Can I lick my armor of Agathis? <laughs> you can definitely try, yeah. Oh, sure. God. Just uh, yeah. magical ice occasionally. Nova, lick time. my armor. <laughs> oh, was, um, could you just nope. not look at me while I... Mm. While, the, while this is going on, are the two of you doing anything or are you just monitoring the engine? There is the, um, you have like a gangway, like a metal gangway, the way you came in and then opposite you, some sort of door opened into what looks to be some sort of office and then the rest is basically just... Not even really machines, it's more just like pipes and maybe gauges on the pipes really to monitor what's mm. going on. Um, this isn't like high level technology, this is quite rudimentary in some ways oh. compared to some of the stuff you've seen. Well, let's not waste our time while we're here. Mm. May as well investigate, right? Yeah. Do the Nova thing. Okay. Figure it all Do out. Do the Nova thing, figure it out. Figure what out, I already figured it out, it's steam. Yes, but it, and maybe something else. Some leaves and things to maybe improve the temperature in here. Okay, um, okay. Uh, is there anything with, like, language that I can't read? Like, is there any... Um, I mean, there's, there's, it's, it's, I think, like, any signs that were here, the only ones that you'd still be able to read would be anything that was, like, written in stone, like, chiseled. Mm -hmm. Um, anything that was written. The heat's so oppressive, it's yeah. probably melted the ink and stuff like that away from, mm -hmm. like, any signage. Um, even, like, a lot of, like, these gauges, you can see that the years and years of pressure and heat that you're not even sure how many of them are still working. Mm. You definitely can determine with your intelligence and spending an hour here um, that what you guessed is correct, that the main um, central metal sphere has some sort of lava crucible inside, and when that is cooled, it generates steam, which is then funneled up through another pipe into some sort of turbine or something that's going to help generate power, like... Mm -hmm lightning effectively mm -hmm. um, which is probably what's being used to control the more magical elements around the facility um there's no way to really cool this room down first of all you just have the amount of lava being pumped into the crucible the magical glass that surround that it's kind of contained in is doing something to alleviate the heat but it's just being so close to such like you I mean you're deep below the earth near magma pockets mm. it's just hot down here unfortunately Ooh. um this reminds me of star being in here what? Oppressively hot. Wow. <laughs> no comment. Um, the other thing is if you do check out the door that opened up that yeah. does appear to lead into an office, um, inside of which, um, yeah, Nova, you would recognize this is it's almost like an engineer's office or like a kind oh, of so workshop. It's, it's open. Oh, mm -hmm. okay. uh, the door opened once and then it didn't close again, basically. Oh, okay. Um, and this just is, it's like a small side room. Mm -hmm. um, inside, there are a couple of different things like a desk. The papers on it have basically long since become incredibly dry and crisp. All the ink has seemingly bled and kind of streaked across the pages and puddled onto the, the wood itself, staining it. Um, but there's enough there that um, you can kind of make out. There was probably once schematics in here, but they're, they're long since basically gone. Um, no longer readable. Um, there are a couple of other things of note. There is a very beautiful, it's not even framed necessarily, it appears to be um, a small portrait of a, a very regal looking elegant queen um, dressed in kind of a white gown with armor plates carrying a rod, like a magical wand or rod, with a crown. You can see that there is a young girl sat by her side in a kind of green dress, um, perhaps some sort of like princess or something like that. This looks like a queen. Mm -hmm. um, and she has emblems of Solven, which you recognize from Century Sealed. Um, you assume this to be, Nova, you're kind of a student well, of history, aren't you? Well, we also saw like in um, the city we just came from, Kamina, Mm, you saw, saw the statue the of Queen statue, Astoria. Yeah, and did. I asked so, Sentry, yes. like, is that your queen? Yes, this is Queen Astoria of Solvin. Um, and this portrait is slightly illusory. 
So um, she kind of seems to kind of like smile and nod her head. Um, there is like a gentle breeze that kind of blows in these like, beautiful stained glass windows behind her. Um, it's just like it's created with magic mm. um, and is paint. Is it small or is it big? Um, it's, it's probably about the size. Mm. You know, it's portable, but not easy. It's not something you can put in a bag or something yeah. like that, but it's it's not heavy. Um, but it's probably worth a lot of money. It's probably worth a good amount of money to a collector or somebody who would be interested in this um, um, sort of thing. I, I want to take this and give it to Sentry. Yes, absolutely. It's so beautiful. Is it a good idea, do you think? Do you think it would make her sad? Um, I think she fondly remembers her time in Solvin. Mm. I think this would be nice. Yeah, okay, well let's make sure, let's keep in here for now, and when they come back, we can be like, hey, look. Mm -hmm. Yes, great um, idea. Inside the office, there is also what appears to be a kind of glass display, display case on the wall, um, which contains medals of what might be archery, or like some sort of skill in archery, as well as a very beautiful composite longbow and 20 arrows in a kind of quiver. What do you make it's of this, on the wall. Nova? It almost seems like this place is a place where they live and celebrate their lives here as well. Well, but it's I... not, they're not just created here. Mm. Have you never stayed up late in the lab that you work for? N no. No. I stay up late, listen, uh, late listening to stories oh. from Nanny Norfear. Well, that kind of makes sense to me. Like, I guess this facility it would have needed people or guardians working it all hours of the day and at night. And like, if they have production, like, guardians don't need sleep as well, so maybe they work through the night too. So, but the question to me is, where are they now? Um, like, did they all die in the? Or that's a they... good point. Mm. Why is this place abandoned? <laughs> Interesting. But what do we do about this bow? Uh, well, Do we take it? Is it ours now? I, Find us keepers? I, uh, yeah, maybe. I don't know. I feel always a bit queasy about <laughs> like, handling a person's weapon. Well, last century. Adventurers don't want to loot. But, like, no. maybe Ayla? Have I seen Ayla shoot things? You've not seen her, but like, she certainly she throws a hammer at things at yeah. distance. What about Kul? No, he can't with that. Oh, <laughs> He doesn't have two arms, he only has one. Yeah. Not Maybe it's crossbow. designed for a sentry mm. unit. He had a pistol, mm. remember what happened? It might so be you want to give sentry more <laughs> weapons? I don't think she could have enough weapons. Okay, so you want, and shall I attach that gun to her as well, so that she also has the gun and the bow and the hammer and the sword. You just you were putting the gun on the ship. And the everything, yeah, well. I'm being for Oh, okay, so um, I yeah. You should put the bow on her back, so that when okay. she leans forward, it fires out. Okay, at the same time as the Gatling gun? <laughs> Yeah, you should have that option for sure. Um, yeah, okay. Yeah, I'll work on it. Yeah, I'm just Sentry making a is note. Gun. I'm, look, I'm making a note of it right Sentry now. Sentry is gone. Okay. So you want to you open up the case and take the bow and... Because it's in like a wall-mounted like, glass case. Um, I guess I'll wait until everyone comes back and then I'll sure. point it out. I we should let Quill look over this. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, well, with all of these kind of investigations and checking out the generator and stuff like that, if you're not doing anything else, a, an hour will, you'll basically have an hour and then an hour back. Mm -hmm. um, so I need you both to make two constitution saving throws. And Nova, you wear breastplate, yes? yes. You wear like medium armor. Is this your dog? You're going to need to... <laughs> Ether Ford brush breastplate. Uh, brush okay, so you're going to make these with disadvantage. <gasps> Lucius, because you're armor of Agathis, for the first one you have advantage. Excellent. Constitution. Constitu I just broke constitution saving throw. Sixteen. <laughs> okay, that was for the first one. Cool. Seven. For the first one. Mm -hmm. All right, and now the second one. No advantage on this one because your armor of Agathis would probably go. Oh. Sorry, I just broke Rhiannon. Yeah, you do. Thirteen. Twelve. Thirteen. Twelve. All right. You're both fine for now. Like you are sweating. <laughs> Um, it's dripping off you. Your hair is like slick and flat against your body. I'm um, really sorry, Nova. I'm gonna have to go down to the panties again. Mm, <laughs> fine. Um, and especially for you, Nova, in your armor, like that, it's just keeping it all locked okay, in. There's just no. <laughs> she spent ages doing her makeup as well, Katie. The and wings. Now, the wings. Oh, the wings. <laughs> um, it's not my fault. It was right there. For those two, those first two hours, you're fine for now. But. It's getting harder. Like you've kind of probably drunk through like a lot of your water skins and things like that. No, um, is there a chance that your hair's gonna, you know? It's fine. Don't look at it. 
It's gonna what? How would cloud hair I don't go? Know. In I feel like it would almost disappear mm -hmm. a little bit. Mm -hmm. Like it would be mm. so humid and arid that it would just almost disappear. <laughs> I just got a vision. So it's kind of like this is a hair of my head. Yeah, okay. like, it's, like, it's like really thin. It's the shape <laughs> side of my hair. So it's just like a little bit of white fluff. Yeah. Aww. So it's gone really like almost like a crew cut. Right. Crew cut? Is that Perfect. it? Yeah. yeah. Like so that. while that's going on, um, quick question. Sure. Did somebody give me a potion of fire resistance. Yes. I don't know if he did. gave it to you. We, they told you she talked didn't about it. giving it. She to didn't you. take it, but I think uh, you gave well, it to her. Let's see if it's in Quill's inventory. Think... It's not in mine. Okay. Is it in your inventory, Kim? Nope. <laughs> I think oh, you should have added it. I just held it, it and then dropped it. <laughs> that's pretty bad, isn't it? Oh. I mean, I feel anyway. like if I don't have it. It's in that room. <laughs> Go pick it up. <laughs> I just don't know whether or not now is the time to take it, especially if we're fine. Well, make sure you add it to your yeah. inventory. So it's just a regular fire. Right? It's a potion of fire resistance. Um, yeah, and I do. Really I was good. keeping track of where it was, so it's fine. Okay. Um, you should not mm. drink it. Normally I'm like, not on your sheets, you don't have it. <laughs> I mean, where we are. Yeah. Um, cutting to the other squad, you guys make your way through. Because you are making your way back out to the surface, the heat isn't as unbearable for you guys. Like, it actually cools down as you get closer to the ocean. It's still warm, but it's not oppressively hot like it is for the others. Mm. Um, you reach the entrance that leads, uh, the secret entrance that you use to access the facility. And it's not hard to get out. That's the thing okay. of hidden end exits, mm. is getting out is the easy part. So you actually find that there is a kind of like a hard lock lever that will basically release the door and then you basically just have to, it work, It has like a, a system to help you open it. Even though it's underwater, the pressure, it kind of helps um, open it. Still gonna require somebody of significant strength, but you've got a strength of 18, right, Ayla? And so does Sentry. Mm -hmm. So I think either of you two can open this fine. Cool. Sure. The difficulty will be coming back in. Because yeah. as you, as soon as you get out into the water, as soon as this exit opens, water just begins pouring through Quill. You're soaked. Yeah. It's just like you're literally yeah. fighting against it as Ayla and Sentry both swim out. And as soon as they're kind of free of the door, within a few moments, it just locks back behind them. Um, and Quill, you are left with Harold, who I guess just the door awkwardly is, looks at you. The door is way too thick door. for a message, right? Uh, what blocks it? Uh, like like, an, it's like a foot of stone or something, yeah, yeah. right? Yeah, it's blocked. <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, so Ayla and Sentry, you swim out. Um, Sentry not needing to breathe. Ayla being of a, a storm barbarian, you don't need to breathe and have a swim speed. No um, long squad. The two of you <laughs> can swim out um, and easily find your way back to where you encountered these two pipes basically sticking out. One of them is mangled. It looks like maybe it was broken or damaged in some sort of like you know, accent maybe crushed partly, like it's literally been all like bent up and like squished mm. together. And then the other pipe is just covered in this gross, fungi and coral and algae material that seems to have just okay. completely engulfed it. Mm -hmm. um, so what would you guys like to do? Um, we need to be careful because I think one of these is the outlet pipe. So whatever we unblock, we need to be ready in case something comes out, whether that's heat or... Good point. Very good point. Um, so I guess, do you want to do, do you want to do them both together or one at a time, or like one between us? How do you want to? Let's try one at a time. One at a time. And then we'll know which one is As which. A team. Nice. Okay. I think it'll be easy to get the stuff off of that one. It's the, yeah. the mangled one that's okay. the issue. Well, if you want to have a look, you can make intelligence checks for me. <laughs> I'm very intelligent. <laughs> ba -ba -da -ba -ba. Oh, but I rolled a 19, so that's a uh, yes. 18. <laughs> Have the century do. Six. Six. Century, I mean, yeah, engineering is definitely not your kind of strong suit, and you're kind of looking at this. The algae one is, it seems obvious enough. If you just clear them, um, it should be fine. You just need to like break off all of this coral and slime, basically, and like wipe it clean. Probably gonna have to like stick your arm down it and pull, you know, material out. The mangled one, though, you're just not even sure how you would go about fixing it. Yeah. Um, Ayla. As is, I think, the way that Ayla's brain works, there is a simple solution to it. Hit it real hard. You just break the bit that's mangled. Yeah, you just, yeah. If you snap that part do. off, you just probably need to like either cut through or weaken a joint around it so that it can snap off cleanly, because you don't want to mangle it again. But if you just break off the broken end, that would be easy enough to do. Um, and you think both of them are actually pipes to take water into the generator. Into. Yeah, okay. there, there isn't an There's outlet. An outlet. There's, okay. There isn't an outlet. Okie dokie. Or if there is, it's not here. Okay, cool. You could, if you can, like, you've got a sword. Mm -hmm. Can you use Her Majesty's Rose to, like, 
weaken a point, like cut a point, and then I can like, hit it and hopefully knock yeah. it off, you know? Yeah, give it a try. So on, you keep in mind you're underwater, so this is like, hey, can you just see the <laughs> Oh, you do have your messenger. Yeah. <laughs> but you didn't do this. I didn't Sorry. know that it was telepathic. Oh, all right, sure. If all I'm right. underwater, assume it's that this telepathic. is always the okay. yeah, I will thing. Do. All right, so the plan is for Sentry, you're going to like kind of like cut around it as best you can or like at least kind of weaken it in a structural point so that yeah. Ayla can break it cleanly with a hammer. Yeah. Okay, so I think for this, for that pipe, just give me, if you make a... This would be more about precision than it would be about raw strength. So I think do a... Make a roll with a d20. Uh -huh. Add your dex mod mm -hmm. and then proficiency as well. So okay. whatever both of those are. Oh, it's in that one. Okay. <laughs> you cool. do your best. Um, <laughs> you kind of go around trying to weaken it. You're not, it's basically just going to make Ayla's job harder, yeah. right? Cool. So you kind of go around but trying to do this underwater and also her Majesty's Rose is a sword, yeah. but it's it's not a saw, right? So you're kind of like, <clears throat> like trying to yeah. cut through, um, but it's you, you've done as best you can, which is unfortunately not going to be a lot. Of that. <laughs> uh, so Ayla, if you just give me a straight up athletics. Oh, athletics? Mm -hmm. Okay. Not 20! Plus <laughs> oh <my> 8! <laughs> So Sentry's performance matters not, um, <laughs> because as Sentry backs off, you just see Ayla swim up and just wham, and it just snaps. It's more just the raw force rather than anything else, but it just kind of, it does bend the pipe a little bit, mm. but it just snaps this mangled piece off and just a huge chunk of it tears away. And then this bend pipe, now the water flows in and you can see like bubbles, kind of this sucking motion pulling water into it. Um, as it does so. Um, but yeah, with a very almighty blow, you just kind of swim up and knock it to pieces. Do and one work. of them is now working. We did it! Woo! That's one! It's That's one. working! Um, and then, so the other, only other one is just this um, one covered in this sea goo, basically. Cool. Sea goo? Mm -hmm. Can I knock off the little bits of coral and so you're doing like the outside like, of it. Yeah. Yeah, the outside doesn't seem to be too much of a problem. It's it's all grown inside the inside pipe. It. And to do that, you're not gonna be able to really use weapons. You're gonna have to like get hands and just start pulling it away. I will do it. Okay, so reach sentry inside. reaches inside. Okay. There's gonna be an eel in there or something. Yeah. Or a shrimp. Well, um, it's That's okay it. because it's Sentry prawn. being, uh, in fact, I'll give it, I'll give it advantage because technically you're kind of somewhat restrained. It doesn't matter. Uh, you reach your arm in and you begin like breaking and pulling coral and this kind of thick yellowish slime, um, which you kind of realize this is kind of tingling a little bit as you kind of like thing it. And then this tentacle kind of like whips <laughs> out of the tube yeah. and tries to grab you. Um, you kind of pull your arm free as this yellow almost an okra kind of colour. Slime pulls itself free. I need you both to roll initiative. Oh, it's sweet. Slime. Okra viscous slime. Getting all the good freezes in there now. Oh, is it a gelatinous cube? 11 for me. 18. It's similar to a gelatinous cube, but it's not a gelatinous cube. 18? 18. 11. 11. You're both going before this thing. Okay. So, uh, what do you like to do? You can see this kind of, yeah, this, this is it. Underwater, it would be like a jellyfish or like a cloud of just goop. Just <laughs> Cool. And kind of like yeah. begins ailing through and it, it's sentient enough that you can see these little tendrils and pseudopods kind of like waving its arms towards you um trying to reach for sentry it doesn't seem to have noticed you it's That's certainly not I reaching mean, I towards get surprised you on it. if you want to you're the first to act ayla so i'm gonna hit it okay do i have advantage then because i'm not here oh uh, yes absolutely you do Terribly on both of those. <laughs> oh, oh, makes God. sense for that natural twenty you just got. Uh, well, you only have to be an arm class of eight. Oh, okay. <laughs> then I'm fine. I hit because yep. I got a four on the dice yep. plus nine. Yep. Um, okay. So yeah, you hit it easily enough with a hammer, bringing it down on this kind of like, and it's kind of floating in mid water, right? <laughs> so it's just kind of like hitting a plastic bag <laughs> under underwater. Like, <laughs> it kind of goes with Poor the hammer, thing. like wraps around it, like. Sounds so seven, unsatisfying. Seven damage, and then hit it again. Seven damage, and then you hit it again. Okay. Uh, that's a natural twenty. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, brutal critical. And you do have brutal critical. <laughs> Wow. Okay, nice. so 17. Wait. No, You're no, 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 no. 15. 15 yep. Plus 5. 
So 20 mm -hmm. plus 7, 27. Uh, 27 points damage. Anybody who's new, by the way, we have our own homebrew rules on criticals. So we just maximize the damage and then roll the uh, weapon damage die again. What is 27 brutal? points brutal of critical, damage? Critical, I get to add another weapon dice. Weapon dice. Oh, if okay. I get a crit. That makes her crits even bigger. Makes my crit crit That's mad. Yeah. Damn. Um, <laughs> uh, Does it no, explode? It, uh, it doesn't quite explode, but it is, you see it just kind of crumples around the hammer. So you did seven damage, then 27 damage. So that's 34 points of damage. It just kind of crumples around the hammer and bits of it kind of like, get broken off and kind of like float free. <laughs> um, it does kind of get off the hammer a little bit, but you can see this thing is now just kind of like weakly kind of slapping Aww. around all around itself, <laughs> but it's still trying to reach for something that it, it, it can feel threatening. Um, and it is now very much aware of you. Cool. Sentry. I guess I'll just I'll use my dagger. Yeah, okay. So you don't have a disadvantage because you're using a dagger. Yeah, it's 18 plus 9. 18 plus so 9. 1d4 yep. plus 5. All oh, that didn't go in the tray, but it's fine. That's a uh, 6. 6 points of damage. You kind of just cut a line in this thing. Um, <laughs> and it just kind of like, yeah, it, it almost splits in two, but now it's just got this flapping hole as it's just Aww. underwater. Do you want to make your second attack? Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> okay. I'm not even going to get it. Can I just go. say that, like, we're, you guys are rolling really well against this little slime. We're probably going to face a boss later and just be back to the natural ones. Yeah. Then. Yep. Like, mm -hmm. As mm -hmm. is the way. That's why I put this in. Yeah. <laughs> Do you make Get your way through your right now. Got 16. 16 hits. Yeah, yeah. this yeah. thing can't really move. And then a 7. 7 points of damage. Yep. <laughs> yep. With that, Sentry just <laughs> rips it in half like a sail <laughs> in a pirate movie. Just. <laughs> <laughs> and it just. <laughs> as it just. <laughs> and it begins Aww. floating up. Two more. We did it. Fuck yeah. Um, and the coral, like, you know. Yeah, and, and it seems that this thing was the thing that was blocking it up, and it was living inside this pipe and Aww. just eating stuff that came in. Um, and just, just living his life! Living. Yep. Okra jelly, Not anymore. Man, we are the scourge um, of the ocean. <laughs> so whilst you guys do that, and, um, I'm assuming you're going to make your way back and Don't then re-enter through yes. the super entrance, yeah. right? I'm yeah. not going to make you roll for that. Like, you have plenty of time. You're not, there's no threat of you drowning. So you just, by the time you get up to it, the two of you can pull open the secret door. We could well, also, you're like, covered in water knock again. on it. Yeah. And then oh, they can pull okay. the lever for us, technically. <laughs> yeah. Well, they can't hear you. So you could messenger ring. Yeah, messenger, uh, yeah, ring, messenger ring is like five miles. So, so. so messenger ring and then Quill can open it. You open it and then the two of them. You're covered in water again. Um, but Great. The, the lot I mean, it's a welcome, refreshing. welcome refreshment, I suppose, yeah. <laughs> um, whilst you do that, as soon as that second pipe is unclogged, Nova and Lucius back in the generator, you notice the difference. First of all, one of these pipes, you begin to see water pouring down and begin feeding into this large metal sphere at the bottom of this kind of generator room, this kind of cylindrical chamber. Um, and as it does, you can hear like a kind of groaning, creaking metal kind of being put under stress. Um, but then you see faint kind of like, not a huge amount, but steam begins rising up through the clear glass uh, tube. Um, the needle doesn't really seem to move, but when the second one then begins funneling more water, just enough of it flickers up into a sort of amber range that you notice these uh, glowing spheres on the wall where it had previously been nearly dark, except for this lava orange glow. Now these bright white, lanterns are beginning to flicker in inside the walls and the whole place is beginning to light up. And you can hear this low droning hum um, echo throughout the chamber and along the metal railings and things like that as steam is, is being blasted into some other system you can't find or can't see. Mm. Um, and the power returns to the facility. Cool. Hey, they did that pretty fast. Uh, whoa, this is so cool! <laughs> wow, wow, cool, cool. <laughs> no, I'm just looking. Um, so apparently, chat was saying that I drank my fire resistance potion Already? last time, oh. which I don't. I have no recollection of this whatsoever. Well, but I trust it. chat's yeah, recollection. It could explain why I don't have it. And, my and it lasts an hour. Time. Yeah. Oh, so. I think it was because you were planning on being in that room for like hours. So yeah. I think that's why you drank. To it. be fair, you probably by it the time we went. Hour, by the time well, we went yeah, out, yeah. though. That's an hour. That's an hour. Yeah, so. So the fire resistance has gone. It's gone. So, but it does, yeah, it means that you wouldn't have needed to have made those saves. Um, for exhaustion, yeah. For exhaustion. Um, well, good one, chat. Thanks. So Lucius is currently in the worst state for exhaustion then, because like we've all just been up the top. Yes, so, and the way it works is that the longer you spend down here, the harder the DC becomes. However, Lucius is also lucky in that he doesn't wear armor or have heavy clothing, so he's not a disadvantage on his saving. And he's naked. And he's, so, yeah, he's, he's, and he can, he's also armor got, cold, he's got cold spells. Now that only lasts an hour though, Armor of Agathis, doesn't it? I don't think it lasts even that. Yeah, I think it's like 10 minutes, so. 
that's mm. gone as well. Oh, okay, fair enough. Um, but after another hour, which is why I already rolled for the checks, the, all of you reconvene an hour, back yeah. in the facility. Um, do you guys head back to the generator? Or do you meet them in sort of like the main lobby area with the huge metal doors? I think we'll meet them back in the generator room. Okay. Well, now chat is saying I didn't drink it. So. No, okay. Right. I don't know what to do. All right. So well, I don't know. how about... I have zero recollection. I haven't written it down or anything, so I don't know. Somebody go you to the you bar. Didn't add it to I, 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 yeah, I'm Kim's usually I'm really, good really at weirded out by this. Like, so we'll I don't know. Somebody I don't go know. and check the box. Nightjar, Nightjar. I trust Nightjar. Nightjar, if you're in the chat, please go. To the VOD, verify this, and message one of us. Sorry, guys, I, well, don't, I don't know. Love you. Doesn't matter. Because someone, someone's right so there. I don't know what you want. Eventually, to. you will reconvene yeah. back Yay. in the generator room. Um, what would you like to do? You can see that the power has returned to the facility. Maybe not all of it, but enough that some basic thing seems to be working. Doors, um, lighting seems to be back on. Um, I miss ice cream. <laughs> I mean, yeah, Lucius is drenched in sweat. Okay. You guys did it! Uh, Nova might also be drenched in sweat, we don't know. <laughs> yeah, I'm probably just like lying on the floor at this point. None of my hair exists. Let's just like, say, just... yes, he's drenched in sweat. <laughs> yeah. Because, holy crap, wherever this potion is, whatever. Um, Who is okay. so cold? It's cold? <laughs> what is cold? He's it's... using psychology, picturing oh. things, and, and then, then we can be the things we picture cold. Imagine a snowstorm. Snurlock, swirling snowstorm. Imagine that. It just turns to lava every time. Mm -hmm. Oh, I mean... And then bathes over me and burns me alive. Okay, I mean, okay. We could... Is there any kind of, like, temperature control in this place? We I could mean, just leave this room. Yeah, let's, let's go somewhere it's, cooler. It's not just this room. It's all, As soon as you come into this main facility, this heat is everywhere. Oh, you go back okay. out into that main room with the double doors, and there is literally a pool of lava in one corner, like, oh. flowing from the wall. Mm -hmm. And it's just everywhere is yeah. oppressively hot. Yeah, like, yeah. you can't escape it in this place. Sentry doesn't, like, guardians, did they not wear air conditioning? Uh, we, we don't really need it, um, I, I suppose, but also... Precious being. I, I don't, I don't Gust. have enough memory to really know. Gust! Oh, Gust. This, <laughs> Gust. <laughs> that doesn't, unfortunately, down here, doesn't really help your blowing... I'm hotter than air. ever before! Oh, right. You're That's not generating cooling, you know, air. Um, how, how about... We just keep going so we can get out quicker. Yeah, let's, let's I should go. also point out that this facility was not always in this state. Previously before it was treated with magic so that the stone was more heat resistant, but, and she gestures to this kind of break in the wall where the lava's thrown through. It appears that the facility has deteriorated and is no longer protected against the heat of the volcano. Sentry, I found a thing. What did you find? I hold up the portrait. Nova! And yeah, it is definitely it Queen also. Astoria. It's, it's a, and it's uh, Petal is in there as well, the princess as well. I'll hug it really tight. Yep. Really, really tight. We well, can put it up in your room on the ship. Oh, I'll, I'll keep it. I need to keep it really safe. Where can we keep this safe? Uh, oh, if, uh, if we find a chest, I can make a secret chest. Oh. <laughs> Do that now. <laughs> oh. What about a display cabinet? Some kind of thing. Oh, oh wait, no, Ayla, you shoot bows, right? There's a bow. I can do. There's a bow in there if you want a bow. I um, mean, sure. Would a display cabinet work for secret chest? What? I don't know secret chest as a spell. Says, You're going to have to read it out to me. It so. says I need a three feet by two feet by two feet constructed from rare materials worth at least 5,000 GP and a tiny replica made from the same materials worth know. at least 50 GP. So. You're going to need to, going to, need to order going that to custom. <laughs> Okay. That is a custom job. Oh. <laughs> Look at this display gonna... camera and it's a tiny Isn't little... Isn't it basically, Lehman Secret Chest is you basically, you could have the chest on the airship and then it's like an ender chest in Minecraft where yeah. you can just put stuff. I know, it's a, I, I think oh, I cool. just I just put the chest, I hide it in the ethereal plane and I just cast the oh, spell to bring, bring it, it back. Oh, right, I see, okay. Um, there you go. Well, yeah, so. you'll have to make that. <laughs> Uh, fine. Well, for now, unfortunately, Sentry, you're going to have to basically like carry it around, and it is it is flammable. If this thing like falls in lava, yeah. it's going to get destroyed. Can I wrap it in my green cloak? So yeah. I'm still wearing Helios, but I've got my green cloak. Mm -hmm. Wrap it in that. You can wrap it in that, yeah. But it, it is still susceptible yeah. to damage. But yes, it will be for the po as long as you don't fall in any lava, you might be all right. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Nova. Thank you so much for finding this. I mean, it was just a Nova. Take the bow, I guess. Sure. Yeah. So um, it's in like a glass cabinet on the wall. You open it and unlock it. Um, and it's a, a very beautiful 
longbow, like a competition longbow. Um, and with it is a quiver, which bears the mark of Solvin as well, um, with a beautiful leather, kind of like treated leather harness. Um, and it has 20 arrows in it. And the arrows look exceptionally well made as well. Did you want this sentry? It looks kind of like... Oh no! You take it. It'll be it'll be an honour to have to have for you to have it. Honestly, I will try my best to not fuck up. I imagine you won't. You okay, will be amazing. Cool. Okay. Um, <laughs> if you want to add it, so it's a longbow. It's a normal longbow, but they are um, plus two arrows. There's twenty plus two arrows with it. So those you will need to track because they are obviously magical. So if, if I cast protection from energy on someone, will that help with the situation or is that if more If you give them fire resistance, damage? fire resistance basically makes them immune to extreme temperature. Okay. So fire or, fire or cold resistance will basically negate the effects of extreme heat or extreme cold. Okay, that lasts an hour. Yeah. So I was about to say, um, so Severin Send Gaming in chat says, check the VOD. Nova said she would take the potion right before the first hour was done and she would have to make the first con uh, make a con check. So Are you happy with I that? I took it during the first, yeah. So it's got, the effect is now gone, but you still yeah. didn't need to make those two con checks. Cool. All right, so you are now left in the facility. So I'm hot. You have, um, you are beginning to get warm for certain um, and that potion's done. The, you are in the generator room, this kind of large, tall, long cylindrical room on, the silver, on this metal gangway. That connects to a main lobby room, we'll call it, which has these two huge metal double doors, um, which you can see are like the heat warping around the air. Are, they are clearly blisteringly hot. Okay. And there are two pedestals on either side of it with these metal spheres or like these... Um, not spheres, what's the verse? In indentations, like spherical indentations um, on these platforms, like these little pedestals. Oh. Um, these appear to be connected to the door by a series of kind of metal and crystal ley lines that kind of connect up to the doorway. <laughs> seem to be some sort of locking system. Oh. There is another corridor that you haven't explored on the opposite side of the room. Do the ley lines uh, go down that way or? Uh, they, no, they, they literally the go door? from the pedestals to the door. Oh, okay, fair enough. Um, Okay. And are they glowing now? Yeah, there's oh, yeah. power there, but the doors haven't moved. Still haven't moved. Still okay. need a key. Where are we? I believe we need two keys, yes. Two the keys. keystones. Okay, let's... Uh, yes, there's the other side. place we didn't check. The other side? Keep looking. I don't believe... suppose you saw any keys in the uh, office. No. No, there was not. Okay. Just the portrait and the arrows and the notes. Okay. They and, were and the fire potion I left for you. I already drank it at that point. <laughs> yeah, well. Okay. Uh, so if you could begin making your way down the other corridors, we're going to need a couple of things. One, I'm going to need a marching order. So who is at the front, who's, who's at the back, get who's in the middle? in what order? I'm going to probably be the slowest shuffling forward with just like, sweat in my so eyes. <laughs> Blinky. Uh, Etc. I think like, yeah, there is like that, like when you get so sweat, hot and you're like your in eyes. a sauna yeah. and you're like constantly like rubbing your eyes and stuff. Yeah. Is there, is there lava on the ground? Um, in certain parts, like in that main lobby room, it's kind of condensed into one corner where it's like a small amount that's just pooled out and poured out onto like a, like a, a melted yeah. through part of the stone. Okay. Um, going if as you begin to head towards this corridor, you can see that orange glow coming from these these sets of corridors. That there's probably more in there, cool. and it's the heat is even yeah. stronger. Okay, well. ten minutes. What? I need to ritual cast water walk, which works on lava. Okay. What, as if that? it's a solid ground and you're undamaged. This is a spell you have prepared? I prepared it, yeah, I prepared it as part of my level up. Okay. So, 10 minutes, ritual cast. So everyone, you, around everyone me. Take, you take How 10 minutes as Quill conducts a ritual on himself. Mm -hmm. And it works on 10 people, up to 10 oh, million wow. creatures. Cool. And is it concentration? Uh, no. Works for an hour. Works for one hour. Perfect. Okay. Nice. Okay. Uh, while he's doing that, I'll cast protection from fire energy on Lucius. So you're going to cast that using a spell slot? Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, so Lucius, for one hour, you have fire resistance. And that means that you do not feel the effects of this hot temperature at all. It is a oh. blessed relief. <laughs> That's a concentration. That is concentration. Yep. For an hour. For I an feel hour. so much oh, better. It works. What? You just got to think of ice and think things. Of the snow. <laughs> think of the snow. Hopefully it will... Mind over matter, everybody. Gust. <laughs> Gust. Everyone else is like, ah. Oh. Can you please not? <laughs> um, I don't know cool. why it doesn't help. So I had that Lucius was at the back, but marching order. Who's at the front after oh. all this ritual casting? I'll go front. Front? I guess with Herald, right? Front. 
Herald no. behind Sentry, Nova next to Herald, and then Quill and Lucius at the back. Sure. Okay. You begin making your way down a series of narrow corridors that leads into, um, at best, uh, a couple of like different chambers, like different um, workshops or research stations you can best describe. Um, some of them appear to have been caved in, um, which means that you can't make any progress into them. Some of them are just rooms, like a couple of walls and then just a pit of lava. Right. And that's all that remains of whatever was once there. Um, however, if we cut to Matt, Kim, we've got a map. We've got donuts. We've got donuts in the way. But so we got a map. Giant enemy donuts. Mm. Favorite kind of enemy. Are. Oh God, Harold! Why do you have to be so big? Chomp, chomp, Harold chomp. has giant reaper wings. wings. Oh yeah, that's the mini. Yeah. Um, cool. Oh, look at us. Hey, look at all go. that lava, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> Can't get in. Real lava. Real, actual lava. Yeah, that's actual lava I got. <laughs> <laughs> very good. Um, very good. Very, very good. Very good. good. Well Daddy done. Good job, Rhiannon. Well done. <laughs> uh oh, thank you. Uh oh, careful. Oh, uh oh, stinky. Uh, <laughs> right. So, as you begin making your way down, yeah, this area is even hotter. Being closer to this amount of lava, I need everybody, except whoever has fire resistance, to make a constitution saving throw. Uh, constitution. Oh. Wow, wow. Yeah. You'll get plus two. We get plus two. Yeah. Good. Everyone gets plus two. Um, Quill, you have disadvantage because you are also wearing medium armor. Um, I'm not wearing You armor. are not wearing, so you don't have any disadvantage. Um, no, oh. but you'll still have disadvantage as well. She's fucked. Uh, nice. Sophia, you'll also have disadvantage because you went heavy. Okay, Quill. Eight. Eight. Nine. 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 Okay. The temperature here is so much more than where it was previously. Uh. Quill. Nova and Sentry gain one level of exhaustion. Shit. Uh, what is so that? That's an hour. You've the, you'll, you'll make another check in an hour if you remain in this kind of. Well, where it's hotter, it might come quicker as well because it's obviously like you're going to dehydrate quicker. The the it's you can feel yourself getting a bit lightheaded. It's so oppressively warm mm. in this particular space. Yeah. Oh, so we've got Where's... disadvantage on ability checks. Mm -hmm. cool. So things like yeah, if I if it's like a dexterity check or skill checks, basically. Yeah. Um, cool. Or another concept. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, Ugh. No, it doesn't affect con it doesn't. Oh. It's not saving throws. Oh, ability okay. checks aren't saving throws. Oh yeah. yeah. So yeah. Uh, you can um, put them in your conditions, by the way. Yeah. On D and D Beyond. So. Because oh, I'm D and D. You can I'm hear invisible. the kind of bubble of lava from these various pits around you. you can feel this oppressive heat washing over you, and you can see this orange glow completely filling. But you can also see vague remnants of what this place used to be. Uh, bookshelves, tables covered in dried, burnt <clears throat> remnants of parchment and papers, leather books that have long since cracked and warped under the constant heat and pressure, <sighs> glass cabinets that seem to contain various vials or things long since dried up, but there was, there is an echo of what this place once was here. Uh, you see a corridor extending before you as you see it on the map. What would you like to do? Uh, hmm. Could, um, I guess I've already spent like 20 minutes now if I do another ritual cast, right? I kind of want to start preparing a um, detect magic. Okay, that's 10 minutes though, so you're going to be, are you just going to stay in the same spot or like? Um, I can't, yeah, I can't walk with it, can I? Yeah, I'll, I'll, if everyone wants to wait, I can detect magic, or I could just actually cast it, mm. like a normal spellcaster. Or Quill, you can hear as you're having this conversation, you can hear what you can only really describe as like rocks moving around, like the sand, something like grinding against rocks coming from further ahead um, and deeper into wherever this area of the facility is. Mm. Um, especially as you started speaking. Okay, uh, messenger ring, everyone. <laughs> uh, I think something heard me. Not sure, might have been a machine. Could have just been rocks. Um, <laughs> are we going to wait here or what are we doing? Let's, let's, well, I mean, sentry, do you know Will? these? Do you, messenger ring. Oh he wait, he doesn't one. have one. <laughs> Very good, Chris Uh I'll cast message. <laughs> 
on, on well, Lucius. We messenger ringing. Oh. <laughs> Just, there's something that heard us, we think. Stop shouting my name. Can I message, messenger ring and message at the same time? You can say that you've messaged Lucius. Dual say. messaging. Messaging ring is telepathic, so it's just thought, it's free action. Damn, I'm like Wi-Fi, I'm just connecting like, to everything. <laughs> You're texting and calling at the oh same my time. God. MSN messenger. Yeah. <laughs> Rip. Um, been, I mean, we're probably gonna come across this thing either way, okay. right? So we need to find these keys, otherwise we're going nowhere. Good. Okay, Sentry, do you know if these sorts of places would have like magical traps or would they all be mechanical, physical traps? Oh, just wait here. My, my memory isn't yes. of this place isn't particularly strong. Um, Herald, do you, what do you think? She doesn't have a message, oh, yeah. so you have to ask her out loud. She's Herald. just as I'm whispering. Uh, yes. What, do, you, do you remember much about this place? Is, does it... Uh, it has been several centuries since I was last here. Uh, what, as in, I, the layout is unfamiliar to me and I'm not sure where these keystones will be located. Okay. Um, uh, yes, I'm afraid I'm not sure if I can have any, if I have any more useful information. That's okay, thank you. She kind of whispers back. Yeah, we're both the same on that, I'm afraid. Let's just progress forwards and okay. see what happens. Hopefully, just lava, because we're protected from that now. Scripping the painting very tightly. Okay. Yeah. Maybe. So what, Sentry starts making our way forward? I mean, we know that we need to go back through that door, right? So leave the painting here, so it doesn't fall in lava. What if, what if it gets burnt? What if there's lava? We I can, mean, there's uh... lava and fire that way. It's safe here. We're going back this way, almost definitely. Uh... We should creep forward slowly. So Maybe you should high. leave the portrait here as well. Uh, <laughs> uh, brain melt. Let's just creep forward and leave the portrait. What's okay. Doing? Okay. I'm just gonna start creeping forward. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Just move. Yourself. Are you going to try to stealth, or are you like just gonna move normally? Can I try and say to stop to people and then go sort of hereish and have a bit of a. Scout. Out. Are you stealthing? Yes. Stealth check, please. I don't know. Oh, natural 20! What the oh fuck? Oh my god. 24! <laughs> you are a beast today. I'm... Yeah. It's fine, I'm wasting that. You, you creep your way forward and look down the corridor. You reach... Would you want to go up to here, like the corner, or do you want to just get to where you I want to get to where I can sort of see a Peep bit around. around both, but yeah, you can not move to about super... There. The corridor continues, you don't see, uh, what's your passive perception? Like, 15? 15, that's pretty good. Um, you don't see any traps, you don't see any signs of, of any kind of like, trip wires or turrets or things that you've encountered previously. Um, the only thing you can really see is, you think, catching the corner out of your eye, something over here, it's like you saw something in the lava. In the lava. And then okay. it, but you're not quite sure if it was just like a bubble or a shadow, maybe something. Um, looking around, there's definitely plenty of things that these keystones could be hidden in. Pretty much any of these um, like bookcases or desks or tables, they're covered in stuff. You're gonna need to actually go up and search and rummage them and that's, you're gonna have to spend like an action to do that basically. Mm -hmm. Everyone else, what are you doing? Are you just letting Ayla move forward or are you gonna like huddle at the back of this corridor? I'm going to walk forward okay. to be like, oh, we're moving forward now. Okay. okay. I'll, um, can I cast Arcane Eye? Well, I'll let you guys move yourselves as you What's want. What's Arcane Eye? So I basically make an so invisible I'll echo. Try if you just want to move You make an invisible okay. echo. And it, it, same thing, if you're stealthing, give me a stealth check. Okay, I'm going to stealth. I put my Quill's painting doing on a ledge spell. somewhere. Mm -hmm. Maybe you're at disadvantage for stealth checks. Yeah. Um, so Arcane Eye is I create an invisible magical eye that hovers in the air and I can just look through it. Okay. Uh, it has normal and dark vision. Cool. Um, and you I don't need to worry about light. There's <laughs> enough lava in here. No. Sentry, what'd you get on yourself? Oh, sentry. Three. Three? Nine. Nine. So Lucius, not having the telepathic communication, just begins following Ayla. Um, the stone here is actually quite cool. Like, there's no, even though it's so hot, it's not like you're burning your feet or like your know, boots on the on the ground. Um, but there's still a lot of loose rocks and things around as you begin making your way. And like, I don't know how you guys want to, you know, for Sentry, it's probably just her armor. She can't help it kind yeah, of clanking clank. as she makes the way. But I don't know if like there's something in particular that Lucius might do to like give a, a bit of noise or. My body is slick with sweat. 
right. in previous, yep. so I just kind of slip. <laughs> and like rocks kind of yeah. scatter across the ground. Um, and it was you, just like, I told you to stay away. Oh. Um, but yeah, you guys begin making your way up and yeah, you're just like looking around, nothing immediate. Okay. Harold will just move up behind us. Can I? As well. So while Lucius's spell is on him, can I cast another spell, or do I have to wait for so that? So if you cast another concentration spell, the spell on Lucius will go it's away. It's not concentration. Then you're fine. Okay, cool. Quill, mm, nice. you summon a magical eye. Yeah, the arcane eye. I can, as an action, move it thirty feet. So, uh, yeah, I just kind you... of want to. I was going to use. Echo it doesn't actually weapon. say if it's. If it's detectable, it just says it's an invis invisible magical If it's invisible, eye. then it's invisible. Oh, invisible magical eye, so I guess they can detect it with magic detection, right? Or, or invisible magical eye, so detect magic or see invisibility. You can use echo for it. Okay. There you go. I've got my own little echo. Yeah. Except it's my storm eye. Oh, cool. um, so I kind of just want to move it 30 feet down the hallway. Oh, and just put him, put him where you need to. <laughs> okay. Dead. And I don't need to use an action to look through it, I just mentally receive information. Okay. Yeah, the awesome. eye reports back, kind of like a little video game scanner, it kind of scans around. You can <laughs> see that, that, yeah, same thing as described before, there is lava pockets, um, there are various like desks, uh, bookcases, all sorts of things um, that could be where this are, these keys, uh, and you suspect there are two of them, mm -hmm. uh, are hidden. Um, um, in terms of movement, you see the same thing as Ayla did, basically. Do I have any idea of what direction the grinding stone was? Or is it just down the end of the hallway from where I currently am? almost sounded like it was below you, like somewhere oh. out elsewhere in the facility. Well, hmm? Oh, we're okay. Forward. Okay. Move forward slowly. Stealth check, I guess. Yeah, if you're moving forward. So Nova's the only one who's still where she was, just like... <sighs> I'm just leaning against the wall, just kind of... Um, <laughs> 14, and I'm just going like... Think of cultings, it worked for me. <laughs> behind everyone. So far, you guys just continue proceeding as you wish. The kind of oppressive heat causing those distortions in the air. Uh, those of you who have got exhaustion can just feel your mind reeling a little bit, but you, you can manage to snap back into focus um, as the rest of you push forward. The occasional like <laughs> If you've played Minecraft, you know what lava sounds oh, like. God. Can I... <laughs> Triggered. Can I go to the, the bookcase over uh, yeah. over there? Don't kick so my back Ayla line. makes her way over here, and, and then what you want to search looking for? Start just like a, not like making any noise on it, but looking at it. That's called an investigation check. <gasps> Ayla's really oh God, good at yeah. these. I'll go forward. Like sure. This one. Five, ten. <laughs> Natural twenty. Oh, not even right. kidding. This dice is no. banned. <laughs> oh my god, that's, you've rolled five. So that's, a nine, that's a 19. Just you wait, we're going to bust by it. I know, yep. but of the five rolls um, she's done. So you search that bookcase Four there. Shall I search a different bookcase? Shut <laughs> <laughs> uh, the Ayla seems to have a grip on this one, if you want to go elsewhere. I'll go over here. Okay, what's the rest of her on, Dave? <laughs> Ayla, you're scanning through. It takes you like a few seconds, but you're kind of scanning through. This bookcase appears to mainly be kind of like cracked leather tomes. Um, rolled up parchment, but it's so brittle and dry. You kind of touch a bit of it and it just crumbles and then you're like, mm. uh, um, <laughs> there's occasional kind of like glass vials, whatever liquid was inside, long since dried up. Oh, okay. But you don't find this key you're looking for. You kind of push a few things around. No, nope, you can't find it. What I do an for? investigation on this bookcase here. Yes, you can. What's the, and while you do that, everyone else is anybody else moving or are you staying where you I've are? I've nudged the eye the opposite side down so the So basically take a turn of move, okay. two turns can you of movement. Like, for let least. me 30 feet forward, please. Schlep. Uh, you, you do it, That's right. Uh, so you need to stealth check. Whoops. <laughs> Although I don't think it'll matter at this point in century, you got a three anyway. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And like here, by the barrel? Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, I don't know, I might know where we were. I rolled a 16 on stealth. 16? Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm probably gonna go five, ten, clang, 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 twenty-five, <laughs> like here, maybe, and just try and be like some. And I'll just defensive. nudge up as well as much I can. Um, you can get to a base. Stealth check. Oh, Bam. Yeah. Stealth. That's a two. <laughs> oh Bam. Oh my god. I'm here. Advantage. Yeah. What's your last <laughs> one? You have exhaustion. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's me. And if you've got exhaustion, it's disadvantage. One. Okay. Natural one. So, Lucius, what'd you get on your investigation? Uh, nine. Nine. Okay. Roll a d4 for me. Uh-oh. Two. Two. 
you begin searching through this uh, cabinet. Um, you see the same, similar stuff that Ayla did, these kind of cracked leather tomes, um, stacks of parchment that's like burnt away and crumbled away, a couple of like ink pots where the ink has dried up. Um, you don't find one of the keys. What you do find though is a sealed bottle, like a potion bottle, and the liquid is still inside. Um, mm. It's like a clear Unmarked, crystal blue. Look! Uh, as Lucius holds it up, um, things happen. Uh, so, cool, cool, cool. next to Lucius, kind of erupting from the lava itself, Here sending splatters of molten goo everywhere, mm-hmm. these giant mm-hmm. stony worms, um, almost like these borrowing Aww. earthworms Grammar with these huge kind of stony moors. Aww. And you can see the insides are all like a, cr- a bright crimson red. Um, almost pulsating with like, like orange glows. <laughs> and yeah, they're just dripping with lava. They're stony plates that they kind of have around their body. Um, these ones, are, they seem to have stony plates on certain parts and other parts are like a smooth, like eel skin. Um, right, that's the okay. same color as lava. Um, and the lava just doesn't even affect them. It just kind of sloughs off of them. One of them Slows. erupts. <laughs> Emerging up as Lucius is like, look what I found! As it kind of like emerges on, um, as if it has been sensing where you'd be moving. Another one emerges. Hey, I can see that. Of a corridor, and it would go. Right, I saw it come around the corner. Oh, right there. Uh, and that, my friends, is going to be initiative. Damn! Oh, More like yeah, big initiative, okay. am I right? Is initiative an ability check? I don't suppose it is. Yeah. Uh, it is, actually. Oh, oh interesting. Shit, so we have disadvantage. You do. Hmm. One. Uh, I got two yeah. fives. I got a two and a three. Uh, I got seven. And these things are only a six. Same! So worms. Six. <laughs> Ayla. No, I mean I got seven Twelve. on my roll. Twelve. Five, Quill. Uh, nine. Nine. Nova. Five. Five, Lucius. Nine. Nine, Sentry. Seven. <laughs> Harold is at. Uh, oh, not great, Harold. Oh. I mean, she's part Six. of the scene now. Welcome to the jungle. So, Ayla, as is always the case, you the hear this uh, erupt around you as these, these lava worms uh, emerge. Um, yeah. Completely, and, and as they emerge, they almost kind of like burrow through parts of the stone, like crumbling it in there, these toothy moors that are just rings of stony teeth down into a kind of like circular tube of ma- like mouth. Cool. <laughs> There's that. Oh, that was nice. House. That was just okay. a lot of slapping. Um, can I? Um, I want to test this longbow. I'm going to take a shot. Okay, yeah. so you kind of put the hammer on Do the I back. Do I get two shots with this? Though? Yeah, you, so you make attack. normal yeah. attacks as you can. Sweet. Have you so, added the plus two arrows as uh, well? I have. I have. They don't show up on here, but okay. Oh, well, remember, I know it's, it's a plus, plus two, two to, to hit, damage. hit and damage. Mm-hmm. So. Oh no, that was only a three. <laughs> See, there we go. Since we're in combat. Stick with, that, stick with a hammer. Eight, nine, ten, eleven. 13 to hit. 13, not enough. It, no. But the arrow, this magical arrow, kind of just poosh, glances off of the stone um, scales on this creature. It's kind of like stony hide. I'm going to try again. Do you get multi attack with a. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. 14, 15, 16, uh, crossbows, it's, we found this out with Reynard. You still get it. It's just. Oh, okay. 24 to hit. That will definitely hit. You kind nice. of find like a weak point where this stony kind of armor or carapace doesn't quite cover the whole thing and one of these arrows thuds in. It's cool. Sick. How much damage mm, did you do? Oh, I did rage before I did this, by the way. I forgot I think you only get rage damage on melee weapons. Do I? I think. I think. Okay, that's fine. Well, I raged. Add anyway. it for now. We'll check it in the break. So add your rage damage for this one. Rage it up. Nine. Nine points? Mm -hmm. Okay. As the arrow strikes in, you can see where it hits into the creature. It almost like this kind of like sizzle, like noise kind of pops as the arrow, the metal touches it. Um, Intense kind of like heat flares. But yeah, it kind of thuds into its body, the wooden shaft burning up quickly around the arrowhead itself. Um, Not bad. (laughs) Not bad. Bad blood. Bad blood. I just kind of wanted to do something different. Would you like to move? Anything? (laughs) Uh, I'm good just now. Uh, which one would you like to shoot at? This, this one near Nova and that? Okay. Okay, after Ayla, we go to uh, Lucius or Quill. 
Uh, I you think... probably have a high dex, right? Uh, 15. Yeah. That was fun. Using <laughs> a bit of a bow. <laughs> Trying something new. Yeah, sure, Quill, just you, you go. Okay. Yeah, I'm a 14, so you go. Uh, man, but I didn't know what I wanted to do. So Lucius will be next to think about what you want to do. Well, if you don't know what to do, then Lucius go first and then Lucius cool. go first. I'm going to cast Chromatic Orb at third level on the closest one to me and also move behind this table. Okay. Um, so... Sweet. I roll to hit. Ooh. 24. Nice. 24 to hit this one, yeah? 25, sorry, yeah. 25 to hit, and what kind of damage are you doing? It's uh, cold damage. Cold damage. So you conjure nice. this like icy ball uh, from the chromatic orb, mm, launch out of the creature. Ball. It hits, roll damage. Okay, nice. 5d8. Um, 5d8. Right. Do you need more d8? I need more d8. No, wait. Just one more. There we go. Oop. Thanks. Uh -huh. Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. How much damage? 24. 24, double that to 48. Oh, what? As, cold the, as the cold damage hits the creature, Amazing. you see it writhe and kind of pull into itself. Um, this kind of horrid <coughs> shriek echoes Ooh. out from it as the cold encapsulates it. As it does though, uh, this intense cloud of steam erupts around the creature. I need, uh, technically it's there, so five, 48 seven, damage though. Uh, Sentry, Herald, and Lucius, can you all make constitution saving throws? I've got please? fire resistance. Don't worry about it. Uh, <laughs> also, dichromancy. Uh, yep, so that'll do damage oh, as well. Man. Seven more. Cold. <laughs> that is a lot of damage. So 48, plus and seven. then, well, that's double. Are you doing cold, I'm assuming? Yeah. So 14, so 48, so 58, 60, Jesus. 62. Holy sh. 62 wow, points nice of damage. Work. Just from just doing a step, not even a crit or anything. That was just. You watch as this ice just annihilates this thing. It just completely coats it, and it. Cold hisses. stuff works. Uh, what did okay. you get on your Constitution saving throw? Ten. Ten. Um, Herald also got like a six. So you both take Herald and Sentry are going to take some damage here. Uh, Mine is off. There are two of these. That's yours, yeah. Uh, wait, no, one. Is... Ten points of fire damage. I need okay. you to make a constitution saving throw on concentration oh. or uh, oh, yeah. fire resistance. Yeah. So just constitution saving throw. Not 20. You're fine. Oh, you nice. keep, oh you keep control of it. However, this entire area is covered in a thick cloud of steam that's obscuring everything in that region. Um, it's much like more perception is like bad, bad. Multiple um, Would it be bad, bad? Mm. If it's I can't see? even worse. Yeah. Like you, you can barely see like a few inches in front of you. Basically, while you're in this area, anything that isn't next to you, you're blind, basically. Right. So you have disadvantage on attack rolls, um, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, would that affect like movement or anything? So like... You can still move, but yeah. I guess like... I think sentry is enough that if you got close to the edge, you'd be like, fuck, that's lava. Yeah. <laughs> so you don't you need can, to worry about walking into lava. You can walk and lava anyway. you can walk on lava anyway for an hour, yeah. another okay, hour. Cool. Um, cool. Well, Lucius, anything else? You moved away. I oh, um, have a bonus action for barrier ring. OK. Um, technically, do you mind if I make an attack of opportunity against you as well? Because I realized that you were like here. Yeah, I'd love that. <laughs> I'm just checking it because you did, you did move away. Damage, you do it. You, can... you do it, and I take the brunt. Uh, so that's alive? only an 11 to hit. Uh, no. no. Oh my god, it doesn't hit. Oh Is that god. before you activate the barrier ring? He's it's a 14, 14 base. Yeah. Base, it doesn't hit you. So it kind of, as you dart away conjuring the ice thing, it tries to bite you with these kind of toothy maw, and you just kind of leap away as it slams shut in front have, of you. Do you still have armor of Agathus as well? No, that would have oh, gone. It was only 10 minutes, yeah. Um, cool. Quill, nice. you're up. I will just do a sacred flame on the... Uh, did Quil uh, oh, sorry, did yeah, Lucius yeah. kill the other one? Or no, no, it it's the life. Also, right you, can't you can't see it. Yeah, in that case, I'll just Sacred Flame the other one. What do I need to do? Deck save? Yes. Uh, that is a nine. Ooh. Perfect. That's 2d8 of damage, radiant damage, so it's not half or anything. Mm -hmm. uh, 11. 11 points. Damage, and then I'm going to just back up. 5, 10, 15, 20. I'll just, I'll just go into the hallway a little bit. Okay. So you back up into the hallway as you kind of conjure this sacred flame. It does strike against the creature, kind of like hitting part of its armor plate. It obviously hurts it, but not in the same degree that the cold not did like as Lucius did it. No. Um, the thing is, I, I locked my chromatic orb to lightning, so I can't use ice Sentry. Because <laughs> um, I'm a dumb dumb. 
I'm going to bonus. Well, you know thematic. that's not a thing, but that's R- yeah, you're being <laughs> RP. Just because people at home are going to be like, you can choose. Yeah, not that's me, not, a thing. not Quill. <laughs> he draws <laughs> it from choose. inside himself. He ain't got no cold in him. I'm going to cast a magic Just weapon on my uh, Her Majesty's Rose. Okay. It so, already is a magic weapon. Oh, is it? Yep. Oh, cool. Okay. So you don't need to do that. Nice. All right. No it's already a plus one weapon. Ah, I see. Cool. That's cool. already factored in. So. Nice. All right, then I'm just going to move up on this boy very carefully. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to give him the old one two slapperoo with one, her Majesty's <laughs> Nice. So I do that twice. So first yep. one. So because you're next to it, you can see it. You don't have disadvantage. First one's though. 11. 11 to hit, not enough. It kind of clangs against its stone hide. Second one, 16 plus nines. That will 18. hit. Nice, nice. Uh, as you hit it, as the Her Majesty's Rose in melee, as mm-hmm. it strikes, like the heat is so intense from striking its body, you take six points of fire damage. Okay, okay. You need to make a concentration saving throw. Again. So is it kind of like that? It's so hot Love as you hit it, like, yeah, kind of like this spray of like Ooh. lava is hitting it. 18 plus five. You're fine, you keep fire resistance up. Okie dokie. So now deal your damage. <laughs> 8 plus five. That's a six. Six points of damage? Yeah. And then I'll divine smite it. Okay. For funsies. One, what level? Uh, I'll do what? I'll do two. Level two? Yeah. So it's two d8 base, mm. and then another d8. Damn. Two d8, three d8. Three d8. Divine smite adds so much damage. Paladins hit so fucking. Is hard. divine smite just on your next attack, or is it it's, on no, it's weapons? when you hit? It's, two, it's oh. even better. <laughs> Jeez. Okay. Six, seven, eight, nine. Another nine points. Another nine. Yeah. Uh, to this Thanks. thing that is. Yep, okay. So you strike into it um, with that second attack. I, actually, would that have been... Yeah, that on that second one, you would have taken another seven points of fire damage, by the way. Go that's 30s. another con save. Yep. Um, but yeah, as you strike into it this time, you plunge Her Majesty's Road <laughs> in. Another 18. Um, and did you roll the d4 for Her Majesty's Road? Oh, yeah, I haven't well? done that yet. Roll yep. me that as well. Boop. That's a four. That's a four points. So as you strike into this, you cut a huge gouge, kind of tearing at it with the thorns of Her Majesty's Road, these kind of metal blade uh, thorns out of the blade. And you can see it kind of sprays you some of this like hot liquid, um, this kind of ooze, like sort of digestal fluid, that's steaming hot. Um, but you can see it's now kind of like limping, it's coiling itself up defensively, kind of hissing at you uh, with this giant toothy maw. It's um, gonna be like another creature that just runs from us the moment we maim it, is it? <laughs> like, like everything we've faced so far, it's just like, no, oh, you, yeah, you win. Harold <laughs> will step Bye. up as Sweet. well, um, step up uh, towards the creature, and she's going to attack it with her scythe. She is in the fog as well, right? She is in the fog, but when you're next to something, you're fine, you don't have okay. disadvantage. Uh, but for example, for you, you don't have line of sight to any of these guys no, for, no. in terms of healing and stuff. Um, unfortunately, as I always do when I roll with Harold, just misses as she sweeps the scythe too wide and it recoils backwards. Um, on their go. They're going to slither towards Sentry's painting just to, just to fuck that one thing in particular. <laughs> no, 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 no
for the movie. So 18 points of damage total as this thing kind of <laughs> bites down hard on you with its, its gaping, okay. fiery mouth. Ayla, it's going to come for you as well. Uh, Maping guy. For a, that is a 17. No. It doesn't think it hits you. You kind of dodge out the way, um, even though you've got the longbow out. Um, you kind of leap to the side as this thing just slams its jaws shut in front of you. Um, and then we go to Nova, last in the round. Is this thing not attacking me? No. Uh, it attacked Ayla. Oh, okay. Um, You've got metal. Ugh, doesn't like that. Can you <laughs> please make a constitution saving throw of 17 for the one that's nearest to me, please? Why? Because I'm going to cast Blight on you. Wait, on Mark. Just just tell me what you're doing. On you, you specifically. <laughs> specifically on me. Uh, 13. That's nice. a fail. Okay. How much D8? Oh, you've got more press. That's a lot of D8. Uh, that is 9 D8. Oh, oh. Blight. Oh. I love it. Blight is such a good spell. So oh, Blight. Watch me roll one. It's really not a single target. It's so fun. It's fun, but it's not OP. Oh, help. Uh, 18. I take your life. Seven. <laughs> this is a six. It's pretty satisfying, though, when you, get, when you roll well yeah. on it. You're like... It feels fun. <laughs> yeah. It might be 44. She kept moving the dice around. Sorry, okay, so there's two eights there, so that's 16. It's either 45 or 44. Uh, three came off. 16, so that's 26. Stop moving the dice. Okay, <laughs> 20, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37. Wait, no, what? 37. All right, let's, let's Wait, do it. no. Tom, you do it. Yeah. You're good. You quick edit. I got 46 this time. Okay. <laughs> Can somebody tell me how much damage this spell is? 45. 45. Okay. 44. <laughs> I got 44 this time. But I got 46. I'm going to take 44. <laughs> yeah, okay. You know? What? Um, Punishment. He's done it a couple of times. I did a couple of times, I got 44 and 46. That makes it 45. <laughs> All right, fine. 45. Yeah. I got alien for I don't care. I don't care. <laughs> That's um, million. You, yeah, no, but you reach out and this kind of tendril of, of darkness kind of jabs into the, the worm itself and you begin pulling out moisture and life essence. I like to think it comes from my gauntlet. Necro hand. A necro like, hand. Like, so rather than Tian Gong, nice. I just reach out with my hand, a gauntlet dead hand. Nice. And, yeah, it yeah you, you hear this thing kind of shriek and hiss, and now it's, it doesn't really have eyes. You're not quite sure how it's seeing, but it's more from Ayla directly turns on you. <laughs> GG, no re. Uh, Ayla. Let's GG see if we can smash through this. It's a ton of damage. I'm gonna hit it. Uh, what with? Hammer. Okay, so you're gonna, you basically put the longbow away yeah. and pull ah, the hammer out. Fuck it. Just. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna reckless. Okay. Uh, oh, so close to a crit. It was a 19. Uh, <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> You're also gonna take 11 fire damage as soon as you hit it. Uh, as the hammer comes down, <laughs> this kind of intense heat. Mm. God, yeah, that steam is pretty brutal. This isn't even the steam, just like being close to this thing, like, have it, like trying to strike it in melee. Oh, right. It's like 44. blood 20. effectively is, is burning you. 28. To hit? Yes, that will hit. Uh. <sighs> Uh, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven damage on the first hit. Uh, deck yep. save. Fail. Two lightning damage. Okay, as the lightning blasts out. Um, so I'm assuming you're bonus action raging. I did last. I raged oh, okay. last time, yep. so I've already marked it off. Yeah. Okay. Um, and I attack. So I, yeah. You um, attack again. You take another six points of fire damage. Okay. Oh God. So. It's brutal. Six. Did you say? Yes. Yeah, six points. As again, the hammer comes uh, swinging in, connects with it, but it's just this intense heat. 21 to hit. Hits. Uh, same again. 11 damage with the hammer. Perfect. So again, the hammer comes striking down, kind of breaking several of these stony carapace-like armor pieces on it, um, shattering it to pieces, and it kind of recoils and hisses, um, but still reacts. Still fighting fit. Still Lucius. Fighting fit? I'm well, going to... They're, in, they're heavily injured, oh, okay. but they are still... They, they don't seem... You get the sense that these are not maybe beasts, but they're not super intelligent creatures. They seem to be fighting on instinct. Yeah. Predatory behavior. 16 for a chromatic orb. That will hit. Uh, Which one? Nice. The same one you're fighting? I'm going to twin it. It would be... Oh, Ooh. you're going to twin it. So the one against the one next to you is technically at disadvantage because you're next to it. Um, okay, I'll do that. Ah. But the other one will be normal. That's a 19. Yeah, so it still hits. And then the other one, roll to hit the other one. And we'll just do the same damage roll for both. 
13 plus 8. Yeah, it's going to hit both of them. Oh, nice. 4 D8. No, no they're dead. Way, way. <laughs> uh, however, I need everybody to make constitution saving throws. Yeah. Oh, they all admit they're all, from me. As soon as the... No, you still because you take half. Yeah, yeah, this is why I cocked yeah. up last time. So as, as Lucius, these two Sorry. spinning orbs of ice come flying out of his Ooh, hands. Good. They pierce through these creatures that just erupt in steam around you. Uh, I guess 27. Anyone, anyone next to Sentry as well has a... So you're going to take 20, half. 28, 29. Yeah, two, yeah, anyone next to Sentry oh, gets you're not, two. You're not next. You're not oh, wait, next. No, it's 21. You, it's 21. 27. 27. You, you're taking half. How much you get? Uh, I got a uh, well, con save. Yep. It's 18. 18, you're going to take half. 10. Taking full. 8. Taking half. Just half. half. Just taking half. 7. Um, 7, you're taking the full I amount. I do a concentration save for you. Will. Uh, it will. It will depend in a minute. Oh, you rolled oh, another 18 God. for concentration. 18 every time. On you're fine. Uh, those who took full, 14 points of fire damage. Oh, those okay. who took half, 7. Okay, cool. What would be the save? Technically, to... I should have rolled it twice, but I had you deal the same damage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, what's, the con- what's the... I'll do a concentration save yep. as well. If you've got a concentration spell up. So what is it? Is it? Con- it's 10 or half the damage. So... On constitution? Yeah, constitution saving throw. Oh, 10. And remember, you have disadvantage because you are exhausted. Uh, oh, no, that's not saving, saving throw. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I've still got my little magic eye up. Okay, perfect. Um, yeah, uh, these two these two worms, uh, their bodies just go limp and lifeless, um, still resonating with heat, still quite, you know, you can feel the intense heat of whatever their organs or however their body, whatever magic keeps them uh, alive, um, but they just fall lifeless at your feet. Um, and I think that that's where we're going to take a break. Good for nice. the real bad. <laughs> we're going to take a break. Uh, right. I'm going to read some donations. We will be back in a bit for some more high rollers. <laughs> Very good, though. Look at that, fucking vulnerability to cold. Yeah. yeah. Good brain time. Oh. Good brain time. <laughs> that was big brain. The fucking blight was really good as well. That was a lot of damage out of a blight. Yeet! Spellcasters, look at them go. Does, does a lot, but if they don't have their tanks to protect them, Wait. soon. Wow. Soon? Wait. Don't say soon. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, uh, Miahel, Cooper Orc, Disco Droids, um, and everybody else over on the High Rollers channel who did subs and resubs and bits. Um, thank you very much. We got a level five hype train as well, so I hope you guys all enjoyed that. Yay! And then over on the Yogs cast, thank you very much to Mir Kitty for your donation. Have fun today. All saw Tom's tweet about killing Quill. Please keep the bird boy safe. Hey. Not sure my heart could take it if he died again. I mean. Hey. It's not to me. I just ask him if he's prepared. Ola Renve, thank you very much for your donation, but no massage. Um, Alex, it's my birthday too. So in a twist, I give you money. Keep doing what you're doing. Love it. Thank you very much for the generous donation, Alex, and a happy birthday. Um, I hope you have a good one, pal. That Norwegian guy, I've been looking forward to this. I didn't realize it before now, but you all have amazing hair. Well, not Tom, but thank you very much. Raging Rhino, 10101. Happy birthday, Re. Great to see everyone back and well. Hoping today is the day we get Century Prime. Well, you never know. We'll see. And then a hundo. Thank you very much. A big donation from Canna. Watching you all in the last month and a half has been a blast. I'm currently caught up on Erois and on episode 48 of Lightfall. I absolutely love y'all. And anytime I'm listening to High Rollers is a good time. Well, thank you very much, Canna. That's very kind of you. Um... I normally try and read out any donations that we received on High Rollers as well, but as is always the case, I was getting far too ready to do uh, the stream, so I haven't actually loaded it up on my thing yet. But I hope you are all well. Um, I did want to say, now that nobody's here to see me be mushy, I did want to say, I posted this on Twitter recently, genuinely thank you very much for everybody who comes and watches the show, um, who comes and supports the show. I am extremely proud of how far High Rollers has come. Um, I know that D&D is often something of a bit of a, of a America or a United States thing predominantly. So the fact that we've managed to grow our show and we've built it to the stage that we have, I am so deeply touched um, that we've managed to do that. And that's all because of you guys. Um, and I always say this as well. Don't worry if you can't donate or subscribe or anything like that. We don't really care about that stuff. It's just very nice and we do appreciate it. But ultimately the best way you can support high rollers is going and telling people about it this is something i always try and hammer home is that is the best way you can support high rollers is by telling people about it um, because we just need to get it out there we need people to know about it um right some donations over on the high rollers channel triforce king streams um i've been watching since september 2019 and i finally caught up on everything i'm so glad to be here well thank you very much 
Ren Horrell as well. Uh, I've managed to watch 21 episodes in the last two weeks and I'm almost done with Lightfall. Have fun today, guys. Oh, you're doing your makeup. Uh, Aeowulf, thank you very much. Enjoying the stream. Thank you all for the great work and happy birthday to Rhiannon. Thank you very much, Aeowulf. Nightjar, happy belated birthday, Re. Also, everyone's hair is looking super fetched today. I mean, Tom hasn't really put a lot of effort in, but sure. Uh, also, Tom, stop touching dice without permission. You'll get your Tomness all over them, Kappa. Uh, see, look, Nightjar. Nightjar's giving him shit too. Uh, Awkward Ginger, thank you very much. Hi, guys, it's my 22nd birthday this week, so I thought I would spread the love. Thank you guys for getting me into playing D&D &D for providing laughs and just being awesome. Well, happy birthday. Thank you very much. And then True PN. Uh, I think I saw this happen a few sessions ago and it never got addressed. Extra attack says it only works on your turn, so when you ready the attack action and use your reaction to attack someone else, you only get one attack. Uh, that's probably true, but meh, it's fine. Ben. Sometimes, yeah. sometimes we, we, you know, you're gonna make these errors. What errors did we make? Just like apparently when you ready an action to attack, you only get one. You don't get both. Um, I guess the idea there is that they're trying to prevent people from just constantly readying actions. So that, Change their initiative. Yeah, exactly. It's like you should make the most of your turn when it's your turn. Everyone's just stuffing their face full of donuts. You want one? Uh, no, nah, I'm all right, actually. Okay, you want? I'm okay. Please? No, I'm okay. Drink no, I'm okay. Because I'm going to DM. Drink. I've got a drink. Okay. Thank you, though. It's very kind. All right. Everyone else is just... <laughs> uh, I was determined not to make the same mistake I made last week. And getting cream all over yourself, creaming yourself. It was a very no, highly rated Yogscast no. Twitch clip. Yeah. Was that's it? what she did. She got it cream was, all over I herself. Got, I got donut cream all over it. It's still I know, actually, I haven't it. washed these jeans since then. I've still got it on my leg. That's disgusting. You've got, you got to suck it out. That's what you've got to do. You've got to go like that and go. <laughs> well, you heard it from Yana first. You've got to suck it out. you got to suck out the cream. <laughs> So right. many audio clip opportunities. Get, get sat downs. <laughs> sat downs. Get sat downs, chid, kids. Chids. Kids. Mm. Wait, wait. Fantastic. Wait, 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 wait. My name is wait. Elder Price. Wait. Don't. No. Don't. And I would like Just to share you, the no, most. No, you're going to get to the other you. songs, and we can't sing those <laughs> on Twitch. Hello. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. My name Terrifies is Elder Grant. <laughs> so, <laughs> welcome back. Hello. Hello. Uh, the creatures, uh, these lava worms, are dead at your feet, leaving you yeah. free to basically explore, as far as you know, unaccosted. I guess I've not got any more perception of uh, grinding stone and stuff like that. You anymore. certainly don't hear it, and yeah, these definitely seem to be the creatures that were causing it. And like, we can just walk all over the lava right now. Mm -hmm. Right now, yes, you can. How long has it been since I ritual cast that? How long does it last? An hour. You're fine. Okay. It's been like 10 minutes most with the faffing around at the start and then yeah, having true. the combat. The combat lasted the like Ruler's 20 way. seconds. Yeah. <laughs> it was like Luke just went <laughs> and these things died. Uh, cool. In that case, I guess, can I just magic eye all over the place and also just well, wander around the room? Like yeah. yeah, sure. Yeah. And just yeah, investigate sure. everything. Make a um, perception check for me. Okay. Um, as you use the magic eye to perceive. Oh my god. That was terrible. For the first time ever. Well, it technically would be at disadvantage shit. as well, because you are exhausted. <laughs> Wait, why is it disadvantage? Yeah, because you're exhausted. Oh, right. Yeah. You couldn't have gotten worse, 11. really. 11. Okay. I mean, I, I get, so I get mental images through the eye, mm -hmm. so whatever it sees, right? So do they need perception for the arc yeah, eye? noticing things that are out of place, things that like you would actually investigate. Right. Otherwise, you're just like, I would just describe the rooms to you. Yeah, that's fair um, enough. You don't sense any more threats. Um, again, you just find like various kind of like sections that have got books and desks <laughs> and all sorts Puppy. of things loose. Um, most of it you can access. I think the only thing you would have to go across the lava to access is over here, which appears to be, it's not actually a sarcophagus, that's just okay. a picture I had. Okay. Um, it's something that looks like something like of a workbench. Okay. Can uh, I rifle at the workbench? So you just hop across the lava with this spell. Yeah. Now, Describe the spell to me. Uh, so it's called Water Walk, mm -hmm. uh, and it does, for an hour, uh, not <laughs> concentration, so I can just keep that going. Um, the spell grants the ability to move across so any liquid water. surface, such as water, acid, mud, snow, quicksand, or lava, as if it was a harmless solid ground surface. As if it was a harmless solid so ground surface. So it doesn't surface. hurt them. That's the thing I was checking, because there's a big <laughs> difference between, like, yes, you can walk on the lava, 
you don't sink. Right. It still incinerates your feet, however. Yeah, no, you are. <laughs> so, um, You're free to, uh, to just walk yep. across it as if it's just stone. Yeah, okay. So Nova's going to go check out the kind of workbench. <laughs> I like to imagine that because it's Quill who cast it, it's like little fa uh, feathery pads. Oh, here, that's like, cute. Yeah. Step across. Oh, that's cute. So it's yeah. like kind of stepping above it slightly. Yeah. Little radiant lights that sort of block your feet yeah. from... Like Doctor Strange. That's very cool. Yeah. yeah. Uh, also, and apparently I can cast it when you are under when you're submerged in liquid as well, and it would uh, oh, ascend you. Raise you up. Yeah. Nice. Just by your feet. <laughs> <laughs> so your head's still awesome and you're drowning. Okay. So, Nova, you investigate that. Um, the desk seems to be... It, it seems like to be like something of a half-finished project. Um, mm -hmm. You can see that in the middle there is just a thin metal rod, and then scattered around it are various, I guess, weapon components. You can see what appears to be like a blade, like a kind of like sword blade. Um, there appears to be a mace head, um, a flail, like a, a piece of chain to create a flail. Um, but it looks like it was abandoned or never finished, basically. It's just a bunch of components. What does this do? What, uh, Potion. What? Potions aren't my thing. I, I guess I can't. Why did you even look at me? You can identify do you think that I know what's oh, well, going to be? I can drink it. I do not want to drink that. Ignore me. Potions are my thing. I just need ten minutes. I don't want to drink it though. Thank you. Thank you. I guess I'll uh, ritual cast identify. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so while you're doing that, what's everyone else doing? Searching. You're just going to basically the search the whole place, top yeah. to bottom. Probably. Make anybody who's searching make an investigation check. I'm going to lie down on this table. Okay. Should I make one on the I'll workbench or is it? It's yeah, literally just hidden. a half complete. You can do if you think that there might be a secret compartment or something, but the bench itself, you can see the project that is there. Um, so is it's, there it's, any... it'd be if you want to find something hidden. Let's try and make any sense of it? or uh, Yeah, you could do an arcana check, maybe. Okay. Mm. Uh, what'd you get on investigations? Eleven. Eleven? You're not doing anything. He's <laughs> laying not. on a table. He's like, I'm done. Table. I've done my thing for today. I'm very injured. I'll probably be like, go into like this room and okay. like, have a look around. Sure, just make an investigation check. Oh, okay, no, okay. All right, what'd you get on the Arcana check? 11. 11? Eleven. Six. 11? Six. <laughs> okay. I'm exhausted. Quill, oh, yeah. in your 10 minutes, uh, really it is dumb. a potion of vitality. So mm. you can write that down, Lucius, uh, or Quill, whoever's got it. between that and a potion of healing? Well, a potion of vitality, when you drink this potion, it removes any exhaustion you are oh, suffering hi. and cures any diseases or poison affecting you. For the next 24 hours, you regain the maximum number of hit points for any hit dice you spend during a short rest. So if you spend hit dice during a short rest, you get the maximum amount back. No. <laughs> God, no. Do you? I you guess don't have any exhaustion <clears throat> yet. Hmm? You don't have any exhaustion yet. No, but he's tired. Any, um... He's a tired boy. I guess having the potion also makes it easier to like recreate it on the ship, right? No. No? <laughs> no. Doesn't make it easier, no. Why would it make it easier? Ah, because we've got the compo like we've got the actual yeah. thing, right? Yeah, you've got one, yeah. But you can't dupe it. Like it's not like a game glitch where you can be like, got one. I split the stack with <laughs> <out> two. <laughs> <laughs> um, you would still need to go and find the components. But we could use know the mixture. You could are, you, are you an alchemist? No. Then, then no. It will not help you. We if, you took it to, if you took it to an alchemist, maybe it would help them, but oh, okay. they'd probably just buy it off of you. Yeah. What if it's like when you get to the bottom of hand washing soap and you just fill it with water and dilute it a bit and you get more? Yeah. No. <laughs> Potions don't work that way. I don't Sadly. think hand washing soap works that way. I know, there's, there's, a, I know there's a lot of people out there who are like, DM should always say yes and, well, this is a no but. <laughs> uh, no. But you could try <laughs> and see what happens. Wait, is there really a yes and rule for DMs? Because I no, feel it's, like it's like an improv thing. Is Quill a god now? Yes and no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's kind of a thing of like it's generally given out as the advice of like you should always try. It's an improv technique. Yeah. Like, should we say yes and? Well, actually, in D and D, sometimes you have to say no. Yes, but or yeah. no and. I think you're pretty good at that. You're like I tried. You know what? Try it. Try it. Yeah. Try it. Um, but yeah, you so <laughs> Potion of Vitality. Okay. Uh, somebody write it down because if you put it, you, you put it in your sheet. It's on my sheet. Great. Um, the rest of you, it takes some time to thoroughly search it. And Nova, you're kind of spending a lot of time like, 
What is this? <laughs> it's like looking She's at been it. distracted. Well, I think because I'm so hot and exhausted, like my bro I'm just asking the same question over and over again. Yeah. And whilst like, you're not being burnt by the lava, standing over it is so hot. It's like, oh. It's, it's literally just like my brain's just resetting. It's going, I wonder what this does. I wonder what this does. <laughs> I wonder Could it do what this? this does. So this I do? will say it probably takes you a better part of like, another sort of 20 minutes. And by this point in this hot room, I need everyone to make constitution saving throws. Sure. Except Lucius, who currently is fine. How? Where did that go? Disadvantage for heavy and medium armor wearers. Where did that go? I get it on 18, I get 18 every, like every time I've done it. I've had 18 like six times. That's great then. So, wait, what is it? it's disadvantage, so. I don't get it. If you roll another 18. Isn't that 20? 20. <laughs> <laughs> what is happening? These constitution is insane. What is happening? Birthday rolls. Concentration save. No, you don't you need to take damage. Okay. No, yeah, you're fine. Okay. 24. 24. Eight, I have ten. a con eight. of plus 8. 11. 11. Con save of plus 8. Technically, you're fine. What'd you get on your... You got, like, super high. Uh, yeah. Another level of exhaustion for Quill. Shit. Level 2 exhaustion. What does that get um, me? I don't know. Find out. Disadvantage um, attacks, maybe? It says right at the bottom if you... There you go. Um, <sighs> my speed is halved. Oh, Oof, man. No, sucks. in this room, Nova, you're also a second level as well. Okay. Because it's plus 1 each, each time. Um, so yeah, you're feeling the heat now. However, after about 20 minutes, Sentry, in your section that you're currently searching, um, um, you find um, basically what appears to be like a small metal box, um, almost like a little jewelry box, but it's engraved with the sigil, sigil of Solvin. Um, it doesn't appear to be locked, like it seems like it's opened frequently, like the lat there's no latch or anything on it. And when you pop it open inside, there are two metal spheres, um, each Ooh. bearing a kind of symbol of, um, yeah, Solvin. Okay, cool. These seem to match the thing. I found them. I've got them here. They, they, I think, well, I think they are anyway. But they're two orbs in a chest. I've got oh, that sounds about right. Oh, cool. The other thing, uh, who else was searching? Ayla, you were searching. You find a scroll in a scroll case. And this, you actually, spending the time, you're like pulling the books out. It's actually hidden behind several other mm. books, partially hidden in a very beautiful, uh, it'd probably be made of metal like a metal scroll tube that's been etched with careful symbols and it's cool to the touch. Like it has no residual heat from being in this room and you can see that there is a scroll wrapped up inside. Does the scroll, ca I, I mean, guess Ava's got it, don't worry. Can I look at the scroll? Can I, actually, can I see what it says on the outside? Uh, do, it, do I recognize? Runic symbols, it's not a language. It appears I... to be magic symbols. Okay. You, you pull it out and you look at it, bunch of magic stuff. <laughs> <laughs> it's literally like glyphs and I sigils. Um, you can make an arcana check for me. Are you sure, not trained not? in it? Sure, why not? Fuck it. Even, Ten. Yeah, no. <laughs> you have no idea. If you got a natural 20, I would have maybe been like, you think you recognize this one and it means this. <laughs> Quill! Hang on. Quill! Hang on. Quill! I'm, I'm looking Quill! for cure wounds. Why? I'm Lucius. Uh, third idea. level. Why are you looking for cure wounds? Because he's like super dead. Fuck you, buddy. <laughs> You're only half dead. Half dead for Lucius is like 10 health. <laughs> That's an in-game conversation. <laughs> He's at like 10 health, look at him. Hey, I'm not done. This guy's laying on a table <laughs> and you're rooting around scroll cases. He looks more dead than you do. What's this? Oh, wh <laughs> what, what if we make a hole in this place? A hole? And that way we let water in, slowly but surely. Then we'll drown. And then we can all soak in the water. We can, we can all go back to the... Just imagine I start swimming on the table. <laughs> doing backstroke, like... Swimming on the, in the water. Mm. What level of exhaustion are you at? None. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> two. His head's been whacking around a bit, though. Yeah. No, he's just Lucius. <laughs> it's just Danny's boy out I'm again. He's how slightly much uncomfortable. It's yeah. the end of the, the world. world. Yeah, it's not perfect gust haven temperature. He, he would rather be injured than be uncomfortable. I feel like Lucius I'm is injured, deal. By the way. Yeah, yeah. Are you actually? Twenty-three yeah. HP restored. Thank you. He legit is. Um, Thank you. Do you guys not want to take a short rest in here? An hour in here? No, not really, no. No, I don't think. But I don't um, think you would. Scroll. Scroll. 
Can I look at the scroll? Is that everything? Yes, that, have we and... found everything from this room that we're going to... You, you oh, think so. We think so? You, no, like that 20 minutes, I'm assuming that like Ayla comes and looks up here and Harold's looking over here. Yeah. I've also got you my have eye, found like... everything in this room that I'm you're going to find. I'm guessing uh, alone Arcana doesn't Should we, so um, much. Should we oh, walk sorry, away? Sorry, yes, on the Arcana check. Um, I'll just quickly do this. At best, you think that they were in the early stages of creating some sort of enchanted item, like a magic weapon, um, that would be able to shift between different types of weapon. But it, this was like such an early stage, they didn't even start it. I wonder if we're um, going to see someone with that, the final stage, <laughs> some point. Maybe deeper in this dungeon. <laughs> Maybe like the final boss. <laughs> Don't forget D&D Beyond, you are DM. You can lay down the rules. Tom can think whatever he likes. <laughs> I can think a lot of things. I'm uh, thinking that's, real that's nasty pretty stuff. From <laughs> Should we move away from the... Is it big? Like... It's like a rod like this, and then oh. it's like a, a, a bit of a flail and a bit of a sword. Like, you can take it, but it's kind of just like trash. No, I won't then. <laughs> it's like I'll, MMO I'll, I'll trash. Just I'll just sketch it. Uh, like, yeah, 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 you could definitely take some sketches That's of it. Cool. You can see what they were going through because there's like slots and buttons on the rod that you would think like, okay, probably if you push one, it would... Oh, it's like it one of those multicolored pens. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, are not, you are not entirely wrong. Oh, man. That's so cool. Um, you just press all of them in. Right. <laughs> Once you've got everything, hard. do you guys yeah, want to leave really this? Hard. Do you go yes. back to the main yeah. lobby? Yeah. Yeah. This is just going to start walking towards the door going, and her hair at this point is probably, by the way, like Merida huge, like, like, oh, right. like starting to frizz. Yeah. I you got you braids, like, so the braids are keep keeping it weighed down. Well, only parts are braided, so like the bits the that are not braided like, is probably starting to like get really like frizzy. <laughs> it's like just. So you've got frizzy hair. Nova has almost no hair now. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Lucius is just like uh... I'm sweaty in pants. Yeah. But I'm okay. fine now. Yeah. Okay. Let's right. let's leave. Let's yeah. leave the leave the lava. Yep. Leave. Leave. I'll bring back. my arcane eye with me. Okay. Um, um, painting. Scroll. Yep. You got oh. painting. Scroll. When we get outside. Is the scroll case similar yes. to what I have? Because the scroll case I have is one a found sentry. <gasps> yes, it would. Be. Ooh. Ooh I got double. It would be. <laughs> See, <laughs> you can and duplicate it, and stuff. The, you know that the, it's a very basic enchantment, but it basically protects the scroll from extreme heat, water, okay. that sort of stuff. Cool. Well, it's a good way of keeping something like a parchment safe in a Or a painting. Frame. You'd or, have to take it out of the frame, but yeah. We could roll the painting up and put it in. We'd take it out of the frame, but we can save the painting. Could, could, could we? Would it, what if it gets hot and then it gets no, this dry? Could, no, no, it's but, safe in the scroll. In the scroll case. But we have to take it out first and it's safe. You would need to take the it scroll. It does it's mean breaking the frame, yeah. But if we go outside currently with the pet portrait like that, it's just going to get soaked. <gasps> Oh. We can save it this way, then. Unless we find a chest worth 5,000 gold. <laughs> You're not going to find a chest worth 5,000 gold. Let me tell you now, Tom Hazel, you're going to have to buy it. Oh. Uh, what is this? What, what is the scroll inside it? He's, he's tried to ask this three times. I've asked this so many times. I'm very well, curious. Scroll. This is, you can immediately recognize, this is powerful magic. Ooh. This is actually high-level magic. Ooh. Your knowledge of Hesper, your training, your understanding of magic, your connection to it helps you identify it. It is a spell called Sequester. How the hell do you spell Sequester? S-E-Q... Quest... Quest. <laughs> <laughs> spell it as you think it sounds. Sequester. S apostrophe. The quest. essence of the spell is you... It costs... You need to use a powder made of uh, powdered diamond, gemerald, ruby, and emerald. Gemerald. For the gemerald cost of 5,000 gold. <laughs> Um, which you sprinkle over either a target creature or an object. It then turns that creature or object invisible, hides it from all divination magic, from all scrying, and places the target in a suspended animation that causes time to stand still for it. And then you determine a triggering thing that would release the spell. So it's basically a way to preserve either an object or a creature indefinitely. They cannot be found through scrying, they cannot be found through divination magic. Only really the power of a wish spell would be able to overcome this and tell you where to find what it. What is it, Quill? That? Se sequester. What if you put Hadar in that? What? Had it must be a willing creature. Oh. If it's not? Uh, it doesn't work. Oh, okay. It takes like 10 minutes to cast as well, I think, so. Oh, uh, right. Hmm. I mean, we have to get. I thought I broke first. the game then. <laughs> we'll put Starbane in it. Oh no, wait. <laughs> willing again. I can command him to be willing. 
calm emotions, make him willing. Sequester. <laughs> See ya, GG game. Done. Maybe. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. What level spell is that? Seven. Woo -hoo -hoo! Woo -hoo! Well, that's a juicy spell. Oh boy. So uh... even <laughs> this kind of magic is incredibly rare on Erois. There are very few casters that can conjure this level of power. Mm, so this would be very valuable to anybody who is of a particular magical... Disease. Is it worth 5,000 gold for a chest? <laughs> Certainly that kind of cost, no. it would be worth it. Really? But it could put it could put it could put Sentry into if we don't solve Sentry's problem. You we could put her into yep. and it freezes, while we find it a way freezes to save them her. as they are when they are put in the spell. So if you were to like put somebody in it and then they slept for a thousand years and then the triggering event woke oh. up. Oh Futurama. Oh yep. Is this how the Guardians like survived for as long as they did. Like they no. were all just sequestered. Well, away. there was a part of their magic, perhaps their their ability to shut down might have been derived from this kind of magic. Uh, That's certainly a theory that could come to mind. No, it's not theory. War. It's fact. Now Quill said it. <laughs> He's got the eye. <laughs> so obviously we can't put those in the pedestals. So we, I guess we keep looking. Uh, no, we. we no, we can. We got them. Since you found the the keys. Oh. I got. A... Oh, well done. Thank you. Oh, oh that's right, yeah, Harold wouldn't have known either. <laughs> I forgot that they did that on the ring. Um, okay, well, we've got... We, we I thought that was just Chris Trott not listening. <laughs> <laughs> let's get out of this room. Let's away. just it's put these... It's like a 50-50 chance. The the keys which in. one it is, if it's RP or if it's he's actually just forgotten. Yeah. Let's... Please, let's get out of this room. Yes, I I'm already out of the room. Yeah, I'm assuming you've been having this conversation as you left. I, I imagine that you're door. in the main lobby area of these two huge steel doors. Um, the heat warping the air around them, the pedestals waiting with the power. This very slow, droning hum still kind of echoes around you from the generator. Um, there's the lava in the one corner just boom. I guess it, while Shall they're we? preparing to unlock the door, can I re-up Water Walk? Sure. For another 10 minutes of thingy spell. So is it, is it a ritual spell? Yeah. Oh, cool. Um, so I could just cast it, I suppose, but... Well, if we've Slots. got a little bit of time. Are we taking any short rests or anything? Keep in mind, it is still very hot in this lobby room. So if you <laughs> if you take a short rest, that's another con okay. save. I'd like to point out that uh, if we get to level six of exhaustion, that's death. Is it? Mm-hmm. <laughs> you didn't read all the way down to the bottom of the page, did you? No, I just read up to the exhaustion level that I'm at. <laughs> I don't Sorry, know what's going to happen to me when I get more exhausted. <laughs> I've you never could been... guess. You could take an educated guess as a bird folk. I don't think I've been so exhausted I thought I was going to die. Speed reduced to zero, <laughs> hit point maximum halved. Yeah, let's get out of this hellhole. Okay. Uh, I would I'm like... So you're going to take 10 minutes to cast Water Walk? I mean, I, yeah, that's. I feel like that's important, right? Right? Water Walk. While everyone's getting their keys prepped to unlock Just the door, do it. Yeah, I'm doing it. Water can, walk. I, can I cast Warding Bond on Quill? How long does it last? An hour. Sure. Do you want to cast that now? Yeah. Okay. So you're going to use Her Majesty's Rose. So the way that the way that the work, the weapon works Talent. is you basically knight him, and that cool. creates the bond. You kind of like place the blade, tip of the blade, on each shoulder, and that creates a bond. And you can Does feel that. Does that not mean like if you. if he takes damage, you take damage? He has resistance to all damage, mm -hmm. but any damage Quill takes, Sentry takes the same amount. Doesn't it increase my AC as well? Plus one to AC. Damn. Stand Very. still. I haven't done this before. So Quill. Okay. Thank you. You should be okay. So just remember you have that. I that's not be. concentration. No, that's, probably. no, that's, that's just set. You're going to kill uh, Sentry. Cool. What if I warding bond Sentry? You can't do it. It's a... Wait, can you? I, can't, well, I think I've got warding bond. Infinite loop. <laughs> don't, 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 a black hole of his. <laughs> that's true. Hadar. Hadar's crit. Have you just broken bond. the game? <laughs> You've <laughs> actually... Warding bond. Yeah, can we warding bond Hadar? Oh wait, warding, no, that warding, means... burn. warding burn. Warding burn. So if I take damage, then Sentry takes right. damage, which means I then take the damage again, which means Sentry takes damage. <laughs> We're just constantly back and die, forth yeah. thing, like it a would, ping pong pretty table. Much, yeah. We're just <laughs> halfing until there's nothing. Yeah, possibly. It's probably a bad idea, right? <laughs> yeah. Interesting. It also ends if the spell is cast again on either of the connected oh, features. Oh, they got it. However, also keep in mind, Sentry doesn't have to pay this cost because she's using the Her Majesty's Rose. Yeah. For you, it costs 50 gold to cast. Oh. Do you think I haven't made a money? So, you stand in the great lobby 
taking ten minutes as Quill prepares uh, this we spell. Try and start the process of opening you can the take, door. You can take the keys up there. Yeah, Sentry. If you and Harold want to take them up, Harold will basically offer a hand to take okay. one of the keys. Yeah. You make your way to these pedestals on either side of the great door. Yes. I think looking at the heat that's on this door, we shouldn't stand in front of it when it opens. Good idea. What about the two that are opening it? You the should... pedestal is to the side. Okay. The just stand by the wall, I guess. <laughs> if, it, if lava's going to pour out, then just be wary of that. Okay. Walk on it. Walk on it. Right. So you finish Can passing we move water sort water. of more towards wherever we came into the facility, I guess? If we move towards so the, the tunnel. Where you came in is the opposite okay. end of the room to where the double doors are. Okay. So imagine you have just... like a large square room. Uh, you have corridors leading left and right, yeah. and then the, the door and the pedestals are at the far end. Yeah, I guess the okay. overlookers can just, just stand move. back. Like, you like, stand back, yeah, that's right. So you will stand back, as Sentry and Herald place these two keystones in either point, and you hear that low droning hum, and you watch as blue energy trickles down into the crystal ley, li- uh, ley lines, and then filters up into the door, and you actually see a bit of light, electricity lightning <laughs> crackle up and down as they kind of, you hear them creak, like the stress of metal that's kind of been almost melded together is being broken. <laughs> as like bits of metal and, and almost like molten substance kind of brittle and Slack. snaps and breaks as these doors begin to slowly open. And you have a feeling that perhaps the facility's low power, they would have opened faster than before, but they begin to slowly open. No lava comes immediately trickling out, but hot air rushes forward. Um, you feel a great heat, very much similar to like you did before. And if we Yay. want to move this one down. Oh. Da, 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 da. I will also oh. <laughs> I will also post all of these maps onto the Patreon if you want to get some sort of context. I should have said that earlier, but if you want to see this new room, oh. it'll be on Patreon. Is this what was hiding underneath the mm-hmm. material last oh. time? Oh. Because you didn't know that there was going to be a lot of lava you stuff. You want to move it down a yeah. little bit away from me. Yeah, I will do, yeah. So it's camera. Cool. Oh, it's awesome. awesome. Nice. So. Nice. You will be entering from here when you do enter. This is very much, you can see, what would have once been some sort of foundry or processing facility. Um Broken floors and collapsed platforms uh, litter this room, and the heat of the lava is even stronger than before. Great holes have been bored into the walls, the ceiling, the floor, um, and lava has poured in into many places. There is some sort of like upper curved, like a network of tubes, um, glass tubes that have been broken. Um, that were once connected to some sort of stone platform that's now half collapsed. Um, some of them still lead and filter into the wall, leading into some other hidden part of the facility. On the far end of this, this new room, you can see another pair of metal doors um, that seem to lead in. Harold kind of gestures. Beyond that door is the Prime's chamber. It is not far from here, but we must cross across the foundry to reach it. This is in a very bad state to when I was last here. What is this room? What's it for? It was once used as a processing facility. Power from the Prime was filtered through here and would have been filtered down into Guardians to uh, replenish their life energy. Um, okay. It was also where we did many manual repairs. Uh, Guardians that were badly damaged, lost limbs or had their armor broken, would have been repaired here. But sadly, much of that has now been lost. Mm. You can even still see there's a couple of like workbenches on the very corners. They almost look like beds, kind of these raised stone beds, um, set with like little tools and arms, like kind of these like metallic arms on levers and winches um, that hang over them, uh, that would have housed devices of some sort, some sort of magitech device. Well, we need to find a way across, and quickly. There appear to be several pathways, although narrow and dangerous. There are some of these jumps we may need to cross as well. How uh, low down, how long is the fall? Uh, It's not very far, it's about five feet. Oh, okay. Okay. 
Yeah, and with water walking, you don't even really need to worry about jumping across. You can literally just walk across it at this point. Let's yeah. be wary of more worm thingies in yeah. the lava. Yeah, can I we will hear any? Send the eye forward. You can forward. make a perception check for me if you want. I'll just like send the eye forward uh, just to get a surveillance of the room. Mm, ten. Ten. You don't hear anything. You can't sense anything. You just see this bubbling constant flow of lava underneath the underneath the floor. And like before, this room is unbearably hot. Um, spending too long in here will definitely, again, cause more exhaustion. Stop looking at me. <laughs> Stop looking at me. Um, anything with the eye? If the eye just go forward some more? Yeah, doesn't seem to scan anything. You see, like, discarded ladders that would have once led up to this large platform, this curved platform, um, but nothing else. Okay. Um, the doors are basically here. Is it worth looking up on that? Yeah, I can send the eye up. Just yeah, send the eye up. Um, nothing up there. There's like several like shards of glass all along it, and you can even see down on the far corner um, where it would have once been set into the wall. Glass tubes half protruding, but then they just break and shatter away. Um, so the eye can go through a space of one inch. Mm -hmm. Could I send the eye down one of the tubes? Sure. Oh. It's, uh, it sees in the dark, right? It's got dark vision. Uh, 30 feet, yeah. 30 feet. So it goes black and white. And I mean, how long do you continue receiving messages? Because it's going through these tubes that just seem to wind up and down uh, for a while. I think it's any distance. It doesn't matter as long as it doesn't go to another plane of existence. So Crikey. a minute, two minutes, still weaving its way through pipes. Three minutes. Could be. I guess Stop during this around. time, like... <laughs> yeah, what's everyone else doing? I'll just keep sending it through, but as we're going, because it only cost me an action to do that, so I can still move. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, um, can so. I Forward. start moving around this way? Yeah, you kind of balance on the edges. The crumbling stone, um, as you get near the edges, like your foot almost kind of gives away as parts of it break off. I'm um, like, whoa, and you kind of catch yourself. Um, this place is... Dare, like uh, any kind of major vibration or earthquake could potentially start causing this place to cave in. This, eh, you're not sure how much longer this place will even be able to be travelled through. Whatever you need to do here, is it sure crumbling as we're here? It's not crumbling as you're here, but any kind of seismic activity, any kind of loud um, vibrations, hmm? Hmm? could. Could definitely like thunder cause problems. Wave. Yeah, maybe. I was going to use that. Um, more things like if there was an earthquake in this area, this place is toast. Why do you keep saying earthquake? Just saying. <laughs> um. So we have the. So Ayla's moved all the way down here. All What's down everyone here? else so doing? So we can we can walk on the lava, right? Yeah, I, went, yeah. I went over this bit to here, yeah. and I'm making a way forward. Sure, sure, sure. So Ayla's taken like what? That's like two moves you've done. So everyone else yeah. can move twice, basically. Um, I've, there. I've uh, got half movement with yeah, my exhaustion. Same. We're all taking different split paths along this lava. Mm, yeah. Stone lava. Oh, yeah, the Herald can't fly, can she? No, she will stick with Sentry. All right, so Ayla is just powering ahead as the rest of you, especially Terrific. Quill and Nova, are slowly, you know, your exhaustion just sapping your strength as you're kind of trudging your way over there. Lucius, you're kind of weaving your way through the stone cases. Ayla, as you reach these doors, these metal doors at the end, you can see that the intense heat in this place has again kind of half fused them shut. You're gonna, somebody's gonna really need to force these things open to do that. Um, you can see that there was probably once like a, a big wheel that would have opened it, like a turning wheel that has like slagged, it's like kind of almost half melted into like a kind of drooping mismatch shape, mm. no longer really usable. Um, but as you kind of make that final kind of step up to the door, that's when the rest of you feel it emerge. Here we go. It. Like <laughs> the worms before, this is bigger and it's stone carapace covers its entire body. Ugh great spines or spikes of glistening obsidian-like stone jut from its body. Its plates seem to be able to move independently through some sort of musculature, and its great gaping maw is almost like a, like a squid's beak with these kind of sharp obsidian fangs as it erupts 
Oh. Uh -oh. Out of the lava, completely hidden. Holy I rolled God. very, very high on its stealth as it erupts in a merge. Um, it emerges, and that is initiative <laughs> yes, for everyone. So. Oh, no. no. A disadvantage Oh, God, yeah. You are. Man, okay. look at this thing. Big flamey boy. It looks yeah. like uh, Ganondorf. If, it, yes. if Ganondorf was a worm. <laughs> It's coming. It's, it's coming. The wild. Yeah. Uh, right, Ayla. Twenty-one. Oh, very good. Twenty-one for Ayla. Quill. Uh, ten. Ten for Quill. Nova. Eleven. Uh, Lucius. Five. Ooh, Sentry. Seventeen. Seventeen, and then Harold is at eight. Um, Ayla. Right. You are the first to react as this thing erupts. This deafening, like. <laughs> as lava comes spilling out over its body. You can see these like rippling stone plates covered in these obsidian thorns as it begins looking around and it's enormous. Oh. This is a huge creature. It's, I didn't quite have a mini big enough, but I put it on the correct size base. Okay. Oh okay. God, it's like... So it's even bigger. This is like, you can see it has more of its body below the lava. But it's like a 15 foot wide. Yeah, yeah. this is like 15 foot tall. This feels like Floor to ceiling, basically. Oh, Ganondorf, it's Volga. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm going to take two Ocarina. shots yeah. at it. So you pull out your longbow. Um, oh no, they were both shit. Um, 16 and 15. 16 and 15, both of those bounce off its stone plates. As these arrows uh, just... Wait, 17? Oh my god. Did you get 17, did you say? Wait, what did you say? 16. You said 15 and 16, didn't you? Oh, right. Yeah, so yeah, both minutes. Okay, its AC is high. Its AC is 17. I'll just tell you now, because it will speed up the combat. Damn uh, it! Still super high. Um, so, Ayla, oh. any movement? Oh, wait, no, I would have had plus two extra to hit on those, because it was the... The arrows? The arrows. So, so it would have been would have 17 and 18. And yep, so 18. both hit. Ah, okay. Good job I remembered that. Bam. Um, in which case... Three, two, three, eight. When is this guy going to pull out so, his multicolored pen of weapons? One will be <laughs> five points of damage, mm -hmm. and one will be eight. So thirteen total. <laughs> bam, bam! Both of these arrows just find these narrow joints between the stone plates <laughs> from Ayla's longbow, um, but it does not seem to care whatsoever. Turns out Ayla, pretty good archer. Um, mm. Mm. Uh, sentry. Um, I just realised I need to edit this very quickly. Cool. Double HP. <laughs> oh, I edited it earlier today, but it's not updated. Oh. Uh, um, wait, where are we all in this room? Oh, we're all pretty close yeah. to it. <laughs> Except Ayla. <laughs> Ayla the melee... Queen! Queen. Is the word you're looking for. I was going to say princess. Queen. But that was, that's princess. very Allura. Yeah. 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 Century. What would you like to do? Um, I'm gonna cast bless, which means that Lucius's um, thing's gonna go. But I'm gonna cast bless on Nova, Quill, oh. and Herald, so they get a D4. Um, to saving throws, attack saving rolls. Throw, yeah. Okay. Nice. Um, all of them, or just one? Um, one, I think. For a limited no, no, time. No, no, it's all of it for as long as the spells up. Oh, yeah. really? All, all attack saving. rolls, all saving throws, um, all ability checks, you get an extra d4 on. Oh, okay. I feel like I should have but that But no one, more fire I? resistance. <laughs> yeah. No. You should. Yeah, I don't know why I didn't take um, that. Right, so that's your action. That's my action. Any movement? Um, no, I'm just gonna, I'm just, can I ready an action? You can certainly ready an action. Uh, so if it tries to strike any of the three guys, I'll hit it with a lady's rose. Okay. All right. After century, it's go. Uh-oh. It will. It kind of pulls itself up and it will go around here. Mm -hmm. So, Sentry, you will get an attack of opportunity against nice. it if you'd like. Yes, please. Mm -hmm. Six plus nine. Six plus nine is a 15. 15. That is not enough, nope. I'm afraid. It reaches round behind Herald, kind of lightning quick, surprisingly. It kind of slithers out of the lava, leaving this molten trail behind it. It rears its giant head up, and you kind of see it like oh. as a line of ah. lava just is spewn out uh, in a direct line. Can I? Holy shit! Which is going to basically is this hit a, a spell. Oh my god! Is this a spell attack. 
it is not a spell. This is like a natural like a natural ability. breath. Yeah, unfortunately, mate. And that's going to hit Lucius as well. Okay, so Herald, so Sentry, people. and Nova. I need you guys all and me to make and dexterity. Yeah, and Lucius. And so you've got a D4. Plus four on this. Yeah. yeah, and you've yeah. got plus two. And Lucius as well. Who else did you put it on? It was Lucius, Three. Nova, no, it Quill. Wasn't Lucius. It was. Oh, oh, it was Nova, <laughs> Nova, Quill, and Herald. Nova, Quill, and Herald. I rolled two fours. Deck save. Four. Disadvantage. Got nat 20. Um, not a disadvantage. No? Nope. Okay. We're nope. cool. Uh, exhaustion doesn't affect that. Nice, okay. I'm just lucky I've got a high con save, so I don't have any 18, 20, 21. Oh, yeah. I've only got plus one. Got plus eight. Ugh. Two, three, four. Right, um, so who was I hitting? Harold. Harold. I will roll Everybody yeah. except so me and Quill. Pretty much, yeah. Yep, so Harold fails. Nova? 12. 12, fail. Ooh. 20. 20, success, half damage. 23. 23, success, half damage. You don't have fire resistance anymore, so it's half this, not quarter. Sounds like a lot of dice. How many dice was it? Oh my god, this is such like a mixed bag. It's a mix of ones and two. 30. Oh Perfect. God. 35. 35 so one. far. 41. He's rolling more. He's rolling more. 58 points of fire. That's exactly I'm down. it for me. Holy You're both shit. fine. Do you want to trigger tomb? Uh, yeah. Sentry's out. I'm down. Um, what is no, what Herald is not. 58. But Herald is no. very weakened. 29. So, yeah, <laughs> I'm two minute. Five HP. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. That's <laughs> three. Almost basically dead. <laughs> Holy so shit. shit. This is how we go down. <laughs> that is, yeah, it's that's a big, big hit. And it got Should've you Should have rested. <laughs> yeah. The fire resistance as well would have been very useful. Um, right. So. Uh, so, sentry goes down. My painting. Is we put it in the scroll. Oh, no, wait, no I'm holding it. Didn't. Did you not put it in the scroll? No. Why did you not put it in the scroll? Because it's all. Why do we keep talking about things and not doing them? <laughs> I, I, I will wanna, roll. I will take it out of the frame. Because technically, it kind of moved uh, behind you, and you had it close to your chest. I'll roll a percentile dice to see if you kind of basically put your back so that it basically okay. the lava hit you and not it. I'd say 50-50. Yeah. Forty-three. It's fine. But you are on top of it. Yeah, on and I'm ground. down. <laughs> so Sentry is down. Nova, do you tomb? Yep. So you use your reaction, and what does that mean? So I've got 32 tomb points left. So I'm. Still so you're in still it. in the block of fight, and what? You're at one hit point otherwise. How does uh, it no, work? It just says uh, once per short rest, as a reaction when you take damage, you entomb yourself in ice, which melts away at the end of your next turn. You gain 90 temporary hit points. Right. Okay. So it just it so takes it the took the damage so instead of you. So you're fine. Effect. You're at max oh. hit points, but your tomb. You've just taken time just, to your tomb. I don't have a turn. basically. Yeah. Next turn, then at the end of the turn, your thing goes away. Yeah. Still, so right. you see me just throw up like that, like and throw my hands up. Just covered in ice as she's like protected. I, I feel like it's more like Tiangong just sends up a force field. Yeah, kind of just like do, 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 like a barrier, like yeah. a dome like a barrier. But it's as well, like you a can't do anything. Yeah, she's yeah. frozen. Sentry, you see, just collapse to the ground. Her her like armor kind of like being bubbled and melted underneath the lava. Lucius, how are you looking? Can I? Yep. Take a reaction on this to absorb elements, please. You absolutely can. That's absolutely your right, your right to do. That's my right. <laughs> <laughs> So what? Uh, <laughs> so you, so you cast it at what? Level one? I'm going to cast it at level. I think it doesn't matter if you cast it at a high level. It only adds damage to melee attacks. It's probably not worth you doing. It becomes yeah, that's a good point. The spell captures some of the incoming energy, a resistance to the triggering damage time until the start of the next turn. Also, the first time, yeah, I get an extra d6 damage. So you cast it as your reaction. So you've used your reaction for this until your next turn. Mm -hmm. So, but you gain resistance, which means you would have half the damage again. So it was um, 58, right? 58 goes to 20, 29. 29, so half, half 29 again. is like 14. 10, yeah, 15, 15. So I need to add 15 back 14, on. 14, sorry. 14 back on. For me. <laughs> um, but yeah, so you watch as Lucius, like, with his, his magic, just kind of creates a shield and absorbs some of the lava, but is still singed. So that's basically my action, right? Yeah. Uh, well, that's your reaction. 
that's a good point. So your reaction comes back at the start of your next turn. Okay. Um, yeah, and you watch this thing just kind of like reach up, it spews its lava, and then it kind of just <laughs> begins looking around for its next target. Is its entire body out now? No, it's still got a lot of its body underneath the lava. So that's what I mean, is it? Is it like... It's, is it it's on the here, stone or underneath? And it's kind of like slooped up, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so it's still got the tail from... Uh, Nova, you'll go, you don't do anything. At the end of the turn, the ice melts away, yeah. and that's gone now. Yeah. Quill. Uh, I'm going to move 5, 10, 15 through the lava. Um, oh. Don't forget, Bless has now gone because Sentry went down. Yeah. Can you also oh make a constitution saving throw for me for death, uh, for injury check? Yep. Oh. Tom missed it. I missed it. 11, 12, and you took, 12. what, 58 points of damage? 16. <laughs> I yeah, I don't think you physically can avoid an injury at this rate. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. So... One eye's gone. What can we do? Next. Oh yeah, your guy. Roll a d20. You lost oh, your head. Wow. It's a six. Six, okay. Well, that's not good. Uh, right, Tom, you do your turn while I'm figuring out. I should have out. it your, fuck it. Um, you I'm could. gonna do a, a beacon of hope on everyone and they will pass, uh, they restore max vitality. Oh. Oh, what? From if I heal them, or if anyone heals them. Oh, actually. it does like max healing. And also, I you see. have advantage on wisdom oh. saving throws. I like these. And ones. death saving throws. I, uh, I'm using my updated table as oh, well. Oh, nice. I'm using my updated yes. table. Uh, and then I'll bonus going. action healing work. Oh, no, I can't. Shit. <laughs> So uh, sorry, you got advantage on wisdom and death saving throws. Because uh, a beacon of hope is a spell. It's a spell. You can't cast two spells on a row. So you cast beacon of hope, um, and you've moved. So you're done. Yeah, yeah, I guess. I'm so done. you watch as with Sentry, this lava that's coating your back, that armor plating that you got, the plate armor, begins breaking off in chunks. Fuck. You have a minus five to AC. <gasps> minus five. Wow. Oh, hang on. Have you got... still got Helios? Yeah, you got Helios, got right? Helios. Yeah, but so... one. Yeah, he gives right. me one. So well, I've got a 16. Does Helios okay. give you anything to protect against? No. Oh, was that so the injury check? The injury yeah. check is destroyed armor. So we get adventure with so anyway, I've, I've added it so that certain That's attacks cool. can destroy weapons yeah. and armor now. And if they're magical, they basically get a saving throw. On that, I was like, it's not magical, but it's no. like Guardian, so I rolled it, failed. Cool. So. Nice. Nice. I like okay. it. It's cool. Um, so that was Quill's turn. Um, Herald on her turn. Herald will, seeing Sentry down and a bunch of people took damage, will cast Mass Healing Word. Oh. Oh. Spell. That's what it's not much. Next turn. It's not much. You well, can no, only she, do a small amount. Everyone heals beacon, Max. So they yeah. heal Max. You don't oh, have, Max. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's only 1d4 <laughs> plus so her cool. normal amount. So 1d4 plus 5, so 9. So, How, am I in that um, radius? You are. Oh. Oh, you're in my radius anyway. I'm not in hers. Up to six creatures within 60 feet. So yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's okay. pretty much yeah. everybody gains nine Sweet. hit points. Nine hit points. Nice. Um, Does that mean everyone that's down oh, is... No, up? I did yeah. the wrong Anybody thing. Anybody who's down? Yep, so Sentry is now up, but obviously only on nine hit points. Yeah. <laughs> oh, dude, me and Harold are going to... Might still be worth... You watch as she idea. kind of... She lifts yeah. the scythe yeah. where it once had this, like, jagged scythe area. She kind of snaps that piece off, lifts the staff up, Ooh. and you see the, the the wings kind of glimmer with light briefly, and she sends out this healing pulse, oh, and then she kind of collapses, like feeling injured and weakened. Um, after that, yeah. Lucius. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna into it. go five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Mm -hmm. Fall in the lava. Uh, <laughs> let's hope you don't do that. I'm gonna cast. Did you just on anyway. out of here? Fifth level. You still got it. Cone of cold. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. And you're going to get it so it only wow. hits. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cool, so cool, cool, cool. You're going all the way along. Okay. The well, tell me what yeah. I got to do. It just Constitution saving throw, please. Okay. Constitution saving throw. It's quite high because this thing is pretty good at that. That's a 24. Yeah. So, so it's take half. 8d8. So it is. As you watch, where you've seen these things, the 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 smaller ones, the cold kind of hit them and seem to affect their body. This one sensing the cold in the air building up, you watch as it kind of withdraws in and all these armored plates kind of lock around itself and it kind of hunkers down and waiting for the cold to hit it. Um, roll for the damage. It gains resistance to cold for this ah. turn. Bitch. But that's its reaction gone and it doesn't look like it can move for at least one turn. It like oh locks God. itself in place. It is currently restrained, which means attacks have advantage against it. God damn. So. Uh, give me that damage sum. Does that mean it can't take attacks of opportunity then? Uh, I can't remember, let me check. I've halved it already, it's 15 points. So that's already halved, yeah? Yeah. 
Is that halved again? No, it's halved once. It's saved, so it halved it once, and then it's resistant to cold. Oh, once it uses this it takes ability. Like seven. It takes like seven. That was like, okay. you, you must have rolled pretty low on that for the, the damage. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> How, how, many, how, many, <laughs> how many dice for that? Uh, 88. Um, 30 on 88. It's average, I guess. Di- Admirable. Dichromancy. <laughs> Dichromancy. And it can't uh, use that ability again. Oh, it still has the resistance, actually. Eight. So, so four. half of four. Um, so you watch as it kind of locks itself in. Um, you see its armored form kind of like hunker around it as this cold hits it. And you can still hear that it's like. <laughs> um, yeah, but it, it kind of, the cold warps around it and it's now locked in place. It can still move slightly, but only to really attack anything around it. Does it steam up? Uh, it doesn't, no. The, the plates kind of keep the heat locked inside. Um, so, has it, so what it goes looks to, harder to hit it now. It looks like it's AC might have gone up, yeah. Ayla. Mm, okay. But it currently has, it's restrained, it's so attacks it against gone. it have advantage. Okay. Um, I would like to move up to here and throw the Howling Tempest at it with a punch. Sure. So if it hits, it does 46 extra damage. Please. Natural 20! Oh not like! God. Not like! Brutal critical on a hammer throw! <laughs> How do we do this? So it's the same as it normally is, so you do max damage with the weapon. Oh so, my god. So roll the, the oh weapon's damage god. normally. So. The weapon damage normally is a d10. Mm-hmm. So it's so, like 17. So it'll be 17. Plus 2d10s for your plus brute, for critical and brutal critical. Five. So 22. Plus one. 24. 23. <laughs> <laughs> now 46. No, well, 46 maxed is 12, 24. So oh, God, you're maxing that as well. Now roll 46. Oh, my God. So six, seven, eight. Uh, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. What were we at before? 67. Okay. 67. Bloody Nora. Shame. She's the uh, true that's high the, roller. Is that the most damage you've ever You done? have rolled yeah. so many natural 20s today. I never want to hear you complain about di- no, 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 dice no. rolling ever again. And then I'm just going to... You oh, watch as Ayla good. just kind of comes up, seeing Sentry go down, just... <laughs> it spins through the air hits the center of this armored locked in worm and you see the stone just break and shatter as oh, cool. it's almost like thrown backwards as it's like damn holy shit and then it's done lightning shit. yeah i uh your brain your aura is not going to hit it no that's fine so cool damn Century. oh my god 67 must uh, be the highest with the must sun, be right, highest, right? I it. forgot to rage, but I was ra- meant, meaning to rage before I did bonus that. Bonus action, yeah, it's fine. It's a bonus action, so yeah. I've marked it off anyway. Yeah. Um, uh, after sentry, it is the worm. Okay. You've got like five health, haven't you? Like nine, yeah. Oh yeah, nine, yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna move. God. The back. question is now, what's this like? It hates things that use cold, but you just hit it so fucking hard. <laughs> it wasn't cold. It wasn't cold. <laughs> it was hard. Let me see. Though. 120, yeah, I'm gonna move back to about here. I like, think if something hit me like that here. hard, I wouldn't hate cold anymore. I'd hate lightning. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna cast Moonbeam on it at okay. level yeah. three. Okay. Nice. So it needs a con 14 save. Uh, 23. Okay, half damage, nine, that's 13 halved. 13 halved, 13 is already halved? Or no, no, 13 no. halved, okay, so six. six. Okay, you watch as this column of radiant light strikes down on it from the ceiling, burning it, but it, it, the, the plates, it just kind of ripples in its already angered state, um, furious at the, the hateful uh, blow it's just been dealt. How much did I do? 67? Yeah, yeah something like so. that. 67. Pretty, pretty, done? pretty crazy. I'm done. <laughs> Especially against the boss. No, no. It's the boss, right? Uh-oh. I mean... It just swims through the lava towards Ayla and Quill. Um, Not mainly Ayla. <laughs> right? It's gonna yeah. hurt. You look pretty weak, though. I do. So I it will multi-attack. <laughs> it will bite. Oh, I need to see if its lava spew recharges. Roll a d6 for me, Tom. Okay. Oh, okay. No, I don't give it his, his what responsibility. Do I need? No, just, just roll it. Just roll it. Three. You're okay. It doesn't recharge. <gasps> You're uh, welcome, everybody. <laughs> so it will attempt to. 
bite Ayla, and then it's going to try and wrap its body around Quill. Oh my oh, no. god. <laughs> That's I'm hot. Pray. Natural one against Ayla for a oh! oh, hang on. Can I portent three it? So three against you? Yeah. 13. Seriously? What AC? No, it, it wouldn't hit. His AC is 16. And you're okay. Yeah, okay, cool. You're all right then. <laughs> uh, <coughs> yep, two attacks, one with its bite, one with its thing. Um, that's it. That's its go. Uh, after the worm, we go to Nova. Such a good mood now. Um, I was terrified. I was like, this is it. Death has come. What's, what's your portent? Death has come. Uh, I've got a 12 left. Oh. So I uh, can't really use it on him. <laughs> you could. <laughs> Mark's like, try it. Um, screw it. I would like to cast Blight. <laughs> what? Why not? Why not? Um, actually, I'm going to do several things. One, I'm going to hex curse it, which isn't going to help with this, but, but yep. I just want to get it on it anyway. Yep, may as well. So bonus action, hex curse. Mm -hmm. um, and then, yeah, I'm going to cast Blight, and then I'm going to move away. Um, so can you make a con save of 17? It's probably going to pass, but... Yes. Yeah. <laughs> 18. It's still... It's still... Aww. Yeah. Ah, oh, that was close. All of them it has plus 10 to I know. its I, It was a risk, It's but... still a good spell, though. Yeah, like... it still does a ton of damage. Yeah, hopefully. Oh, my God. Although... We need to get you like a uh, online dice roll or something for Blight. For Blight. Yeah? Yeah. 37. Uh, is that already so half 37 is 15 plus 18.5. 18. 18. 18. So 18. Uh, still. That's still, still, that's still, that's still So you watch hit. as again you reach out with a necrotic gauze and you feel these black you tendrils pulling at its life force. Kind of writhes around in rage. This kind of. <laughs> um, but it is still fighting strong. Um, and then you move away, Nova. Do you just want to move yourself while yeah, I do can Quill? Yeah, someone move me 15, like... Which way? Uh, this way? Yeah. 15, yeah. Yep, Quill. Uh, I'm gonna cast... Is it... Oh, fuck. Expeditious Retreat is the one that doesn't proc. Oh no, it doesn't. It still does, it just lets you so dash. So it's still gonna have a little yeah. bite at me, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, oh no, I can't do Expeditious because I've got Beacon of Hope anyway. Um, Beacon of Hope is an important one. I want to get away from it. Get away from it then. Oh, is it? It's um. What is it to do? Disengage. You can disengage, action. but it's, so it's your whole action. Uh, sure. I'll do that. Action one, two, three, and then at fifth level, I will do uh, a mass healing word. Okay. And, and that will hit. Action, right? That will hit everyone. Oh, cool. He's already worked. It's a bonus action, yeah. Yep. He's healing. <laughs> So 3d4 plus 4 maximum because of uh, Beacon of so Hope. So 3d4 is 12 plus 12. 4, 16. So 16 to everybody. Nice. Thank you. Thanks. I love Thanks. this, Tom. What's the range on Beacon of Hope? Uh, 60 feet. Oh, okay. oh, Beacon of Hope is 30, but it's I've already cast it on everyone. Yeah, he yeah. got everyone with it already. Yeah. Gotcha. Uh, we are touched. Oh, right. So once we move, it's... As long it's as you've not cast a passive it. thing, yeah, you've currently just got it on. Is it right. concentration or is it? I Beacon think it of Hope is, is a concentration, awesome. yeah. Uh, Herald will attempt to, uh, she will actually cast Guiding Bolt. Nice. Man, I love this. The Herald. <laughs> when she's not killing us. She's yet. like an extension <laughs> of me. Uh, she's got well, my yeah. other wing. <laughs> makes, yeah. makes sense. Um, which hits, so the Guiding Bolt hits against the creature, so the next Sweet. attack has advantage awesome. against it. Um, this is four, nine. Ooh, bad. 11. Wait, if she uses Six. one she wing, hit, and we hold on, and I use my other wing, can we 26 fly? points of radiant damage. <laughs> oh, nice yes. one. Holy shit. And, she hit. And advantage on the next hit against it, too. Yep. Yeah, awesome. So you watch as this kind of, like, golden bolt, she kind of shoots out of her hands as it strikes it in the chest. Um, and then she will actually put herself between Quill and it Aww. as well. Um, standing atop it. Let's not forget what she any. did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm the only one against her. Man, Harold, you're so cool and Lucius. also very nice. Lucius. I'm going to. <laughs> oh, I keep falling Fall over. <laughs> Do I have line of sight here on Big Bad World? He's board? pretty huge. Yes, yeah, yeah. yeah. Even yeah. with the columns and stuff. I'm going to throw massive. a chromatic orbit in then. With advantage. <laughs> oh my goodness. No. With advantage. That's a nat one right there. With advantage though, because of. Like like yeah. 14 go. plus 8. Nice. So that's 22. Yes. Thank you. Um, cold damage? 68. Cold. It will use its reaction to lock its plates in again. In which case, I will use elemental control to change my element as it's traveling to acid. 
Oh, damn. Do that, because it's your reaction. You'd be using your reaction again, so you know, wouldn't be able to absorb elements potentially, but yeah, you can do that. So this you boy. basically, you launch this orb, you see it kind of begin to lock itself, and then midway with the gauntlet and your own controls, you're like, and you watch as this orb changes from Ooh. icy blue into this golden, oh, cool. like, blob of Fuck, orangey acid. That is the coolest acid. thing I've ever seen. So three that's sorcery cool. points In to my do. imagination. Yeah. <laughs> Let me do that a second. Just He's like the fastest spellcaster in the West. And then you yeah. make, <laughs> and then it's going to hit, so roll your damage. Okay. And it's going to take all of the normal damage. Yeah. Nice. I'm also an elemental adept at acid, which means all ones are twos. Oh. Holy mother of God. Amazing. Who is this trot? What happened to you? When he does things like that. It's almost like, like when they threaten you with death. Like, you're all yeah. like, bring the A game, bring the A game. <laughs> Trot's suddenly an amazing uh, oh. spellcaster. I'm suddenly healing people. You can suddenly roll some dice. You're suddenly getting natural oh, 20s geez. all the time. Those 20s. I have a painting and I fall down. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, I'll... 29. 29 <laughs> points. I'll and pay for this next week, it's fine. Which is a 6. Uh, so that's 35 total. It was a 6 on the Dichromancy. Yes. Okay, you watch as this acid just begins melting away huge parts of its body. It's already used its thing, so it's restrained. It's currently locked in its, in its place. Um, yeah. So, uh, at the top of the round, Lucius, that goes from Lucius to Ayla. So I have advantage on it because it's hunkered it's down. restrained, yeah. Uh, oh no, that wasn't a good roll. Uh, eight, uh, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Seventeen. Not enough because its armor is oh, there because it's locked yeah. its plates. Okay. Well, that's so you can strike set. it with a hammer. When you strike it with a hammer, because uh, this is the first time you've hit it in melee, okay. you take... Uh, that is twelve points of fire damage, so no halving that. Oh, it's like okay. that boss in um, So the second hit was 15 plus 9. So That's that a hit. hit. You take another 10 points of fire damage. Ow. <laughs> Slamming even with its like big rocky plates, the, the air pressure of this heat still emanating from it. She take the damage even if she doesn't hit it? Mm -hmm. it's just every time, it's every time you make save. a melee attack against it, basically. Because right, okay. you've got to get close enough to swing the hammer, uh, okay. and that's when this heat is Does it automatically blocked. fail a deck save if it's all hunkered down? Ah, uh, I think it has disadvantage on them. Yep, that's disadvantage on deck saves. I rolled a two on the first one, it fails. Perfect. So 12 damage on the hammer, plus six lightning damage. My god. Okay, so you watch as the hammer strikes in and then is bliss blasted with lightning. It kind of squirms around again, desperately trying to kind of realize what's going on, trying to find some sort of way to defend itself, sentry. <laughs> trying to realize what's going on. <laughs> well, yeah, because it's being hit by like different things. Um, oh, fuck, maybe bad idea. <laughs> Yeah, I know, Sid. I'm gonna try. We we'll, might have to go all the way up until the end, so we might not have time for the donos. Go a little bit longer because I want to try and finish this fight if we can. But I know Becky's got feature stream after us. So five. As it boosts today. 15, 20. Uh, yeah, 25, 30. There we oh, go. Okay. Oh, sentry's all up in its face. Gonna whack it twice. Divine okay. smite. Okay. How much health have you got? Oh, you got heals. You got heals. So lot, though. I roll oh. both. So nine plus nine, 18 for the first one. It's not enough. Not enough. It's still got its, its armor plating up. And 16 plus nine for the second that one. That will hit. Cool. So, Divine Spine. Now I leveled up. So, I need to just double check how many dice I do. Well, what spell slot are you using for Divine Spine? Oh, that's a good point, isn't it? Because that's what determines the damage. Mm. So, it's a D8, it's your normal weapon damage. And yeah. Depending on the spell slot. Well, I've only got a level one spell slot left. So, it's just 2D8. So, just 2D8. Mm -hmm. And then that Normal one on top, that's three, blah, 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 blah. Oh. seven, eight, sixteen. Sixteen points. Plus five, twenty-one. Add the d4. Three. So that's twenty-seven. That's a lot you strike into it and you kind of wedge Her Majesty's Rose in, pulling it free. It kind of slumps to the side, staggering, swaying on its feet. It lets out this mournful, like, but it's just barely alive. Uh, uh, still. Close. End of your turn? End of my turn. Ruh -ruh. Can you roll a d6 for me? Oh. Oh, Shit. no! Uh, roll a three. No, roll below a five. This. No, I know. Two. Oh. 
It's a five or six it's a five. recharge. Yeah, oh, okay. It's a five or six. <laughs> oh my god. Cool. I know this from doing wild shape with Sentry. It's coming for you. Okay, oh okay. no! I'm uh, right there! It will try and constrict Sentry. That is a 28 to hit. Yeah, the cool. 16 I'm right there, though! All right. Um, and then it, it will uh, bite. I did no, damage it, to it. it you did do damage to it, but it's, it can't. It doesn't want to do that. Um, I'm it standing does, there with the hammer going, reach. Come on, you shit! <laughs> <laughs> it's it's going to attack Quill because it's got a reach. No. Did it, wait, did it move away from Ayla? Oh, yeah, did it move away from me? Has it moved? It has moved it's just like, around. over here. It just yeah, turned it around. around. Damn it. And it, well, sorry, what's it going to do to me? It's going to bite you as well. Has it got a range for that? Yep, it's yeah. got reach. 12. <laughs> oh, no, no! Uh, right, so... Port uh, it. <laughs> I port it to 12. <laughs> you are taking 15, 21 bludgeoning damage. Oh, oh plus shit. What? Oh, no. And then... 12. 18 Is slashing there... damage. As it's obsidian things that I described, Down. it wraps around you and begins crushing you on its side. Was there a moonbeam at some point? Uh, Moonbeam there was. won't be up because I don't know if, yeah. Centri- it's well, a concentration. But she has to move does. it. Yeah, like, it was yeah. You have here. to move it. Yeah. yeah. Um, so you go down. Yeah. Okay, constitution. Another injury. Constitution saving throw for me, please. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Uh, wait, wait. Uh, you could have portent. You can still do it. Okay. Because you were going, wait, wait, wait. I'll portent your injury save to 12 plus I got your a 13. <laughs> <laughs> Too late. But this is, he has to use it before the roll. So. Yeah. Okay, so 12 plus, what's your uh, Five. Five? 17. 17. Um, wait, it's only 22. Do we need. We got no, time. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. So you watch as, yeah, essentially you're fine, you don't take an injury, but you are now <laughs> in its grasp. You are grappled and restrained and unconscious. Um, okay. And you can see it, it, it tries to bite Quill. He kind of dodges the side, and then as it's got sentry, it opens its mouth, and it uh -oh. looks like it's going to try and bite down. Spaghettios. Actually, no. It's got sentry grappled, and it hasn't moved yet. Oh, is it going to? It drags sentry down into the lava. Oh. Whee! Now, what about, what about water walk? Oh, no. So this water is water walk would launch up sixty feet. So I think it has to make a strength check to pull it under, and technically she's not going to take damage while it's under. Right. But it's going to try and <laughs> down onto the thing. My pain. So, what's your spell save? Uh, oh God, how also, do I see that? Also, as he drags, <laughs> you're getting attacked. You? The painting. All of Sentry as well. <laughs> the painting. The pain. We don't honest, care about the painting right now. Yeah, I'm going to make. I'm going right? to make yeah. this roll in secret. Yep, she's dropped the painting, right? And then I'll say high is good. High is good. Fifty on the dot. Interesting. Oh. <laughs> so my spell save is 16. 16. Wait, the zero, zero, zero. This thing, even though it's got the buoyancy of the spell, it's like dragging sentry. It's like having somebody in floaties and yeah. it's just pulling them under the water. You will get, an, get attack an attack opportunity, opportunity, as will Herald. Okay, so, but like so she, sentry is under them. But she doesn't get damage. She doesn't get damage because, because the spell is heart making it harmless. Oh. This weird fucking thing where. I think, I think she's protected from walking. But not but when she goes not under. Right. Can I okay. do and in that case, when she goes under, she's going to take damage. Can I choose to do a reckless attack on an attack of opportunity? No. Damn. It has to be on your okay. turn. Okay. Just wanted to check. Herald misses. Oh no, that was shit. That was only a three plus nine. No. That's not enough. Holy shit. Sentry is dragged under. Um, you're going to basically take a death saving throw automatically. Yep. Because you are burning under the water. Um, the rest yep. of you all see as when she was grabbed. The painting fell onto the floor. <laughs> oh, oh, thank God! But she's oh, dragged under. Yeah. Thank God. Um, I know the symbolism good. of this. Painting, I love how she's about to die. And she's painting. like, "Thank God, the, the painting. painting, the painting." <laughs> so we would go to after the worm. It is Nova's go. So can you, I see it? it's lava. It's Okay. It's kind of opaque. I will say that you can see the shape of the worm. You can't see sentry. Oh, its but tail you... is under as well. Like yeah. it's totally under. Yeah, but you can. I'd say that it's big enough that you can see the disturbance. It will. You'll have disadvantage to attack it because it's now obscured, basically under the lava. What if I jump okay. into the lava? If you jump into the lava, sure. Again, walking on it, fine. Submerged, no good. You'll take damage. But if I go under, if you go under, I won't give you. You'll have. A, you'll have normal attack roll. As long as it's a spell. How burny could it be? Find out. It's lava. I mean, it's lava. <laughs> you got to make a decision in the next five minutes. 
Five minutes. You've got plenty of time. That's a yeah. ton of time. Well, in, like, I'd like everyone can to. I, can decide. I jump in and then climb out at the end of my turn, or is that like I mean, what's the? So, okay. so the wall yeah. walk thing will so you, launch you up probably faster than you. So can you're out. gonna. So, can I so you purposely dive, dive under. In. So you like and leap then, off. I want to come out at the end of this. Sure. Okay. Like, so you dive in. Well, you will because yeah. the spell will. Do yeah, because it will book me up. <laughs> I mean, you're in lava. I think just because it's because it's sentry, I wouldn't even think about it. Nova wouldn't even think about it because it's. You sentry. take twenty-eight fire damage. Okay. Oh. <laughs> I mean, it's still twenty-eight like every turn. Yeah. That you're if you're as long as you're submerged, you're going to take six d ten fire damage. Yeah, but I'm wider. specifically coming out at the end yeah. of this. Okay. So you dive under. What do you do? Eldritch blast. So you kind of and you feel it just burning your face. Your flesh, your skin, your clothes, but you reach out. Natural twenty! Yes! Oh shit! Um, and then this thing has four hit points left. Oh. 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 The blasts just kind of pierce through it. it. Whatever grip it has on Sentry lets go, She's still in the lava and the two of you like begin oh, floating up. Like, oh no! Yeah, away. she she the spell would spell yeah. still on. So they're gonna pop up, but. Remember initiative order, because after Nova, Quill, they would. But Sentry's like it's like on Sentry's turn she's gonna pop up. Do you know what I mean? Because she's yeah. been dragged down further. Nova pops up immediately because you're also swimming back up to the surface. So Nova pops up. You can see covered in burns. Like drags pulls herself up onto the stone. But Sentry's gonna come up on her turn. Uh, so. so does it mean she take damage on her turn? Death saving throws because of beacon of hope. Nice, cool. Uh, I'll just levitate her up. Okay, if so I you can. kind of reach through. Oh shit! Oh shit! Obscured, but not completely. Uh, I'm guessing you need line of sight to the target. One, this thing just died, right? Yeah. Yeah. I heal. <laughs> so oh, I, nice. uh, yeah, one creature or loose object I can see within range. So again, you could do the same thing of like, if you want to see Sentry, Quill's got to <laughs> get under, like, he's got to get a, a better view on her. Because right now she's like no she's about no. she's about no. forty feet under. Mm, but she's going to pop up on her turn because of that spell. Yeah. Well, yeah, she's thirty feet, so I'll say she'll come up to the surface on her turn. But that's still another death saving throw, and she's going to have to roll one on her turn with advantage. Though. You get with advantage. advantage. Yep. But I mean, I'm trying to. I feel like levitate. That's the way to get her out, right? Then do it. Can you wait? Can you hold action? Harold can heal. You could hold action to do it when she pops up. First the thing, up. let Harold go in the lava. She's going to take... <laughs> Tom, what are you doing? I'm telling no Harold more deliberating with the team. This is an in the moment. You've got to yeah, make yeah. a decision now. What do you do? I think about casting Levitate and don't. Okay. <laughs> That's basically it. Okay, so you're not casting it? No. I okay. I... Are you holding an action or anything? I mean, I'll, yeah, I'll hold an action. That If she comes out, I'll levitate right. Okay. But... Harold dives in. Cool. Harold will absolutely do this. You see Harold like dive in and like like try and swimming against this thick viscous lava. Parts of her begin melting away. She like grabs Sentry and like like pulls her up to the surface and like throws her to the side. Um, did you say you were going to ready an action to heal? Uh, to I, didn't I said levitate. I'll do a heal next time. Okay, All right. So she levitates up to the surface. That's Harold's go. Lucius, you're the next one. Like Harold is like dragging like Sentry basically up onto the the stone edge. I'll, I'll and you can see that like she herself is like covered in melts. Like sixty ten damage isn't gonna Five, kill Harold, 10, so 15, I'm not 20, gonna worry about it. I'll take it in a minute. Thirty. Can't really do much from here. Nope. That helps. Okay. Um, but I will dash there. Okay. So you dash. So help. then we go straight to Ayla. Can I go over and pull Sentry out? So you. I'm rage. I'm still raging. Yeah, so. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Harold. Can like, I try Harold's and pull in. them both out? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, 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 sure. So you pull them both out. I mean, she was pretty much already out anyway. Um. um yeah. You like <laughs> pull them out. Does that count as my whole action? No, they were already climbing out. You're Can I put a potion climbing. in Sentry's mouth? If you have one. I do. Okay. Go for it. So she'd receive max healing from the potion as well. Do also make another injury. Chicken of both. <laughs> no. Technically, no, you do. Cool. It's kind of a weird way to injury yeah. checks work. <laughs> I'm slightly be- melted. Uh, yeah. I think so you can definitely take like a flavorful thing. What's the regular nice. healing potion? Regular healing potion, 2d4 plus 2. So 8, like 10. 10. 10. 10 HP. Ooh, 10 and with that, the... Sentry, just out of interest because you would have been next. Roll a d20 for me. I get advantage. You do? 
Eight and a seven. Eight and a seven. That would have been that one would have fail. been one fail. So, yeah. but without being in the lava, she would have had one. That's round, the thing. I was so, trying yeah. to figure out how to get her out of the lava. So yeah. that she, Let's get the other Because if if uh, Harold didn't get her out of the lava, Sentry would have died then. Yep. So. Oh my God. Damn. You watch as uh, Ayla pulls Sentry out, Nova kind of climbing out herself, having dived in. Sentry and La and Harold are still kind of covered in like this bubbling lava that they're kind of throwing off. Um, Ayla downs this potion down on her, and you see Sentry's eyes flicker back into power. Stop as it! You are left. We're not done yet. You can't die yet. Okay? Where, where's my painting? Oh, it, uh, actually, it's right here. It's fine. I'm just going to hold it and like just cry. No, you're covered in lava. <laughs> no, I'm say, holding the it. Clo the cloak is beginning to like burn from the I'm, heat. I don't care. I'm just, I'm just like holding it really tight and just okay. like, just like. Uh. And then the other side of the room, you just hear, "I am so hot." <laughs> well, we will make the next round of Constitution saving throws after this battle ah. next time. Mm. Um, we're going to try and quickly read out um, donos. Um, just on the Yoastcast Twitch channel. Thank you so much, Sid. Sorry for running a bit long. I just wanted to get this done. Hopefully, Booth is chill about it. I'm sure she will be. You've got 10 um, minutes. Love you, Booth. No, we still got 10 minutes. You, Booth. We still do. It's, for, it's minutes. for ads. Though. we got to do the ads. Lining Wing Dragon. Uh, thank you very much for the donation. Will you ever collab with the Oxvention, Oxventure Guild? Screen's gone off. I think it would be hilarious seeing uptight Mark struggle with trying to handle their craziness, whereas Johnny would probably find the OS team quite relaxing in comparison. DM Switcheroo. Well, I've, I've said to those guys before, love to work with them. We just need to find the time to do it. Um, also, I'm not uptight. I'm, I'm, <laughs> did you watch Rogue's Gambit? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> watch the savage eye roll. Uh, Metamanu, thank you very much. Uh, happy birthday, Rhiannon. My God, every time I see the Yogs eating those donuts, I wish they were available near me. I need Sorry. them in my blood. <laughs> thank you very much, yeah. Metamanu. Bay Feather, thank you so much. Not here today because I'm chilling with some friends, but surely nothing has gone wrong in such little uh, time, right? Yeah. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. And then Ace of Thorns, thank you very much. Hi Rollers, hugs all round and double for birthday guardian Rhiannon thank as well. You. Thank birthday you very much. Oh, well I'll tell you what, that fight could have gone a lot worse. Uh -huh. uh, bad <laughs> recharges. Yeah. yeah. Um, also, what you guys didn't know is that if that thing grapples you, and then on its next turn, it can swallow you. And while you are swallowed, you take damage every turn you're inside it. Yeah. Uh, you're restrained. Okay. Um, and if it kills you while you're inside it, you melt. Cool. Therefore, you can't rest. Unrecoverable. That. Yep. Um, cool. On that cool. note, cool. don't make your data unrecoverable. Please check out NordVPN. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> that, that was a smooth segue. Oh my god. Based on these amazing player tactics, don't forget to use D&D Beyond and practice and learn your cool abilities that you can do for awesome epic moments like Chromatic right. Control or Beacon of Hope yeah. or Massive Crits or Tomb of Levistus D &D or Beyond. Saving Paintings. Yeah. <laughs> Save <Yeah>. your painting. <laughs> All right. Thank you very much, everybody. We will be back next week as normal mm -hmm. um, for more Dungeons & Dragons where, <laughs> I'm guessing, Sintry will finally... Find the prime. prime! Also, thank you, Hoytmaster and Oriri, for gift subs on High Rollers. Thank you very much. Thank, thank you. you! Goodbye, everybody! Thanks, bye. See, See you next week. week and on Tuesday for Chaos Twins. Bye bye. bye, 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 bye.